Hey, hello people of the internet. Thank you for coming along, whether you're watching this back or you're watching it live. Thank you very much. Glad to see you here. Um, we're back at the Nerf Ring. And um, you may have seen that my shoulder's been playing up a little bit, but hey, we're not going to use that as an excuse um, as we take on the... Um, the Nürburgring once again, this time for a four hour race, which we're going to do solo. This is part of the Nürburgring Endurance Championship, of course. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I know in the past we've had a few problems with the uh, the uh, microphone not working. Um, if you're new to one of my um, streams, this is kind of just the, the interim period before we get started. You'll see up uh, there, oh. <laughs> that's a YouTube chat box. So if you chat... It'll pop up there. If I'm in the car, I have got an iPad next to me, so I will see your messages coming in. Um, and if it's something that I'd like to respond to, I may wait until it's straight before I respond, because, of course, this is the Nürburgring. This is the full Nordsch life. So this is the combined, um, most of the Grand Prix loop. They cut out a little bit of it. And then onto the, uh, the Nordsch life, the North loop, to, to uh, set about an eight and a half minute lap. Um yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing that for four hours. Um, hopefully, we'll stay out of trouble. But yeah, so I'm just looking around, just kind of getting myself, make sure everything's okay. Hopefully the lighting's okay. The lighting's not, you know, 100% perfect. I, I don't set it up properly for a, a live stream, but hopefully it's okay for you guys to see. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching along. So we've done this race a couple of times. Sometimes it's a four-hour race. Occasionally it's a six-hour race. Um, well, once we did a six-hour one, um, both times we, we, you know, ended up not completing the race in the way that we hoped. Um, often visits to the pits, following incidents. One time we had someone just as they passed us, just completely smacked into us, thinking they cleared us and they hadn't. Um, another time it was just me on cold tires, just went too quickly around one of the corners on the Grand Prix loop. At Grand Prix loop as I came out of the pits. None of that today, hopefully. None of that today. But hey, if you're watching back, please do give the video a like if you like what you see. If you're watching live right now, thank you very much for coming along. Um, I am going to jump in and do a little bit of practice um, because I just want to familiarise myself with it as much as possible. But the actual race session will kick in in about 12 minutes time. What will happen then is we'll head to our split and we'll find out who we're actually going to be racing against. So there's a, a 10 minute warm up. Um, but a lot of that will be us loading into the session because it takes a while to get into there. So we'll have like five minutes or so of warm up, which probably won't bother going out on track. And then we'll start qualifying. So it'll be a half hour qualifying, I believe. <clears throat> and in that half hour qualifying, we'll do three laps. So I won't come in to change tires or anything like that. I'll just go out, get accustomed to the track conditions on my out lap, uh, which will be timed. Um, I'm not too worried about. That'll be kind of just getting our car up to temperature. And then we'll do a... A banker lap so we'll push a little bit harder than the warm-up lap but we won't go all out get a banker lap on the board and then see if we can go a little bit quicker on the final lap um and that's all got to happen in a half hour session so these are quite long laps um hopefully at the end of that i've got enough time to quickly nip to the toilet uh before the four hour race starts so we've got about 10 minutes now before the race session actually starts so i've got to jump in the car i'm gonna put my qualifying setup on and Jump in the car. Where are we? My setups. 30 minute quality. And what I'm also going to do, while that's thinking, so you can actually hear what's going on. There we go. So we've got the pedal cam, as always, and you've got me here. <laughs> but of course, what you see there in front of you, the main screen is going to be me in the car. Got a bit of sound coming from somewhere. I think it might be my iPad. There we go. <laughs> right, let's head out. Okay, so there are five different classes in these events. We are in the middle of those five. We are class number three, which is the GT4 class. So right at the top, the quickest guys will be in GT3 class. 
They tend to be the most popular as well. Everyone likes to go for the quick cars, don't they? Then between the GT3s and the GT4s, which is what we're in, there are Porsche Cup cars, which are quite similar to GT3. Not quite as much grip, a bit harder to drive. And then GT4, and then below us, there are TCR cars, which are slightly slower than the GT4s that we're in. But basically front wheel drive, touring car style cars. And then right at the bottom, the slowest cars, but by no means the easiest cars to win in are the Toyota GRs. So based on a GR86, they will take the longest to get round a lap, but the competition between them will be no less intense. And you'll see them indicated by different colours on our relatives. So if you see yellow, so you may see at the top of your screen, I've got a relative box, Damien Cross has got a pink number next to me. That's because I'm on a GT4 and that's pink. Above me, Raphael is in a Toyota GR, so that's green. Above him, Sung Young Pak is in a GT3, which is yellow. And then at the bottom of the screen, you might be able to see Sander Verbrugger. He's in a TCR, which is purple. So the only thing missing on there is the blue of the Porsche Cup car. But that'll become more clear as we're going around, because as the race progresses, faster classes will start to lap slower classes. So as the middle class, we will not only be lapping people, we will also be being lapped. So we've got both trials to contend with. We'll have to keep an eye on our mirrors and also try and get past cars cleanly. One thing that's been clear this week with the practice sessions for this is that the track temperatures have been a lot lower than they normally are around here. I mean, we're currently running, I run in Fahrenheit and it's 70 degrees Fahrenheit. 70 is really quite cold for eye racing anyway. <laughs> So the uh, my previous best lap times aren't really relevant because the colder the track, the better your lap times are. And so in practice this week, I've, I've shaved well over a second off my best lap, um, which kind of renders all previous lap times irrelevant, really. And at the bottom of your screen, bottom left, hopefully you'll see... A session best lap so as we're racing that will only be comparing our current lap that we're on against the best I've done in this session which will be either the qualifying session and then a reset and that'll then be the race session and so we can actually keep a, an eye on it like for like compared to uh, the same conditions no point in comparing against the best ever lap which was done in completely different conditions so I'm not driving around particularly quickly right now. I'm just kind of getting myself tuned back in to the track, to the car. As you know, a lot of the time at the moment I'm driving the McLaren uh, for the GT4 Fixed series. Which was the, uh, the series and car that you guys chose at the start of the season. So I've been doing that every week as much as I can, unless I'm on holiday or something. And it handles quite differently from the Aston Martin. So although I have done some practice in this car during the week, I haven't got the same muscle memory as I have with the McLaren. So yeah, I'm just getting a bit of a feel for the for the thing. Of course, Nürburgring, loads and loads of corners. <laughs> Sounds obvious, but there are. And if you manage to get round without running off track or making contact with anything, or anyone, then you'll get a lot of safety rating at this race. So, the more you learn the track, the easier it is to get round it with a 0x lap, which is what I hope all three of my qualifying laps will be 0x. Kind of come to expect that. And, um, and if we get not many x's during the race, then we should have a good safety rating at the end of this. Right, I've got a GT3 car coming up behind me. So I will stick to the left here. Actually quite a handy place for him to pass me because it's uh, a clear speed differential there and I'm not having to go from side to side on the track. So if we can get 
past people and let people pass along that part of the circuit. That'll be quite handy during a race before that big kink. Kink is very tricky to go too wide around. To the famous carousel. By far the quickest way to get around a carousel is to stay in that concrete bit. If you pop out the top, you haven't got any of that camber. Well, there's a very, very slight camber on the road, but you haven't got all that banking to help you round, and you lose a lot of time if you pop out of that. One thing I have noticed, driving in these lower track temperatures than normal, is that a lot of the corners around this part of the circuit, I end up staying in a higher gear than I would have done. Because I've just got a little bit of extra grip and that just means I can just maintain a little bit of extra speed around these corners and keeps me into the power band of the higher gear. Another thing I've noticed is that now that the, um, the BMW M4 GT4 is available, a lot of people have used that because they had a recent Ringmeister series, uh, a week of... Nürburgring with the M4 GT4 as the car of choice. So people have got some great setups for the M4 and it's been incredibly popular and fast in practice. So I think people have really nailed a really good setup for the M4 uh, a couple of weeks ago when they did the Ringmeister series with that car. But that series I think is only three or four laps whereas this obviously is going to be more than that. may well be 29 laps which is frustrating because if it was 27 it'd be a lot easier because we could do seven laps comfortably on a tank of fuel obviously seven times four four stints of seven would be 28 laps but we're probably gonna have to do 29 just because the nature of the speed of the car so we'll have a debate at some point about whether to try and get an eight lap stint out of our fuel load which will probably mean trying to save fuel behind people if we're in a pack. Or whether we come in and do a splash and dash for just one lap at the end. Now each time I've done this race that's been thrown out the window because we've had to pit to make repairs anyway. Which has completely changed the strategy because we just fill up with fuel while we're in the pits. Each pit stop of course as well I'll be getting tyres. Unless it's just a splash and dash one lap at the end then there's no point in getting new tyres every time we get new tyres of course the tyres are cold don't have tyre blankets and so the outlap is quite tricky and of course the car's very heavy if you've also filled it up with fuel tends to be where mistakes are made they're the two big banana skins are the cold tyres heavy car set up at the start of a stint and the Getting lapped by other people and lapping other people it tends to be where the mistakes are made. Alright, looks like about a minute left before we actually go to the race session. I'm actually going to park up, get back into the pits. My shoulder a bit of a wobble. <laughs> So if anyone just joining, we haven't actually entered the race session yet. It starts in about a minute. We've signed up. You can see at the bottom there, race session, 223 teams, 288 drivers have been registered. Plenty of people in this. And we'll be split into our our race split, which is probably going to be top split. Um, Usually is. We'll be split when the um when it turns 8 o'clock and we go over to the race session. But thank you everyone for joining. While we're waiting for that to all happen. I will just switch scene here. So yeah, a reminder what you can see. There is YouTube chat. So if you guys leave any messages, they'll pop up there. And there is obviously my center screen. And here is a face. Very, very similar to my face, but just two dimensional. My, my real face is three dimensional. There we go. So we'll just wait a couple of minutes. 
get into the race session. I think I've got everything sorted. Hopefully the microphone's working all right. I have checked that and double checked it. <laughs> I had races recently when my pedals stopped working, but they seem okay. My steering wheel this morning was playing up, but that's okay now. I see lots of people are disconnecting, so hopefully the race session has actually started. We've just not been invited to take part yet. Hey, they're all disconnected. Why can't I? Oh, we're not going to have this thing again, are we? Where it doesn't actually invite me. We'll give it another minute. Race. There we go. Whew, I was a bit worried there. Leave home practice, join your race. No point in saving that. Yeah, I've had that before. You guys might have seen in a recent video when nothing happened. I think it was at the, um, as we then went to go to the race server and we couldn't get in in time, we ended up missing qualifying. Hopefully this won't be the same. We have got 15% written on our screen. Twenty-three percent. Come on, come on. It takes a little while to get into the Nurburgring anyway. For our race, I've got some drinks with me. I've got some food down there as well. But yeah, hopefully we'll be all right. I think I've done a couple of these now, so I sort of know what to expect after qualifying. Like I say, hopefully I'll have a minute or two just to pop out and go to the toilet, and then we'll do a four-hour race. So if any point, <laughs> any point in this stream, if you like what you're seeing, please do give it a like. It really helps you two to understand what's worth showing to other people. It helps me understand what you like. Um, and of course, yeah, leave comments. If you leave comments and I see them at, at an opportune time for me to respond, of course I will. Um, sometimes I'll be a good minute or two while, while I'm negotiating the bends of the Nordsch life or other traffic, so I might not see them straight away. You guys are also, if you fancy doing one of these one day, let me know how it goes. Let me know if you're going to stream it. I'll try and catch it. <laughs> right, 61%. We're nearly in the session. We're nearly in the session. So there will be a, a short warm-up session before qualifying starts, but I don't really think it's worth going out just for a few minutes. We'll just spend that time looking at who we're against. Sorry about the hiccups. <laughs> it's quite early in the morning still here. I did get up fairly early this morning. Did um, obviously a bit of practice. I'm putting my shoulder through it today. I think we're all right. I think we're all right. One thing I should have brought with me, I guess, is painkillers. That would have made sense, wouldn't it? But I think as we're driving, typically the adrenaline makes you forget about everything, doesn't it? So it would be all right. Okay. We are in a session. Excellent. Right, I'm just going to switch screens again. So, I'm just going to hide that fuel calculator because you don't need that right now. And then we'll have a look at the entries. So, again, I'm just going to quickly run through what we're looking at here. Green, you'll see the green is the Toyota GR, which is the slowest lot. Then we have these guys, purples, which are the TCR cars. So, they're kind of touring car, front wheel drive style. Then we have the pinks, which are GT4 cars. So that's the class that we're in. Obviously plenty of us in here today. Um, it's given me car number 10, but I think that's probably because I've asked it for car number 10. I tend to race this car number 10. Um, so we're in the pink. The track temperature's decreasing. It's now 69 Fahrenheit. Wow, really cold track. Uh, and then of course, the blue is the Porsche Cup. And then the top ones are the yellows, which are 
DT3. So we'll have a quick look. We've got lots of Division 1, Division 2. All right, so it looks like if we open these up, Division 1, Division 1. Yeah, this is definitely top split. You don't get this kind of stuff. Division 1. Pre pretty much everyone's going to be Division 1 in this split, apart from us Division 2 guys. So I am Division 2, so it's Division 1. So we've got, we're going to have a lot of Division 2, a lot of Division 1. Dan's is Division 1 in, in each split. Um, and that is a different mindset when you're taking part, and it's that kind of high competition because the chance of you <laughs> winning the race is very, very slim. But if we can keep up with these guys, uh, absolute cream of the crop, Division 1 guys, if we can do all right against them, um, we might have a, a chance of even gaining some eye rating. But not too worried about losing or gaining eye rating. I just want to have a decent race where I don't mess it up. So, a few more minutes and then we'll head to qualifying. If you've got any questions, pop them in the chat and I'll try and answer them. Let's see what else we've got here. If I just open uh, some more Division 1s, more Division 1s. Division 1, Division 1, so there's two there. Bruce Cavalio. Simtech Pro. So Javier Soto's in here. We often race against Javier in these races. Javier, if you don't know, is a Twitch streamer, Stradi on Twitch. Division 2, Luke Tone, Division 2, and then car number 001 is a couple of Division 1s. So I'm thinking we're probably the lowest ranked team in GT4. Uh, might be a couple of Division one, Division 2s that might be below us, but we don't know until we actually get in. In fact, if I pretend I'm going to practice... Okay, so there's one part of the screen that you guys can't see. And it does look like, hang on, what I'm going to quickly try, I'm not sure if this is going to work. No, it's not going to work. Um, so there are 13 GT4 cars, and we are number 13. So you can't see it from that bit there, but I've got an extra bit on my screen. Uh, I quickly, hang on. Let's try something here. Let's try something. If I drag that down, this is the extra bit that I see. So you now see that in your top left corner. And what you see there on the on the left, in the pinks, you'll see cars number one, two, three, etc., etc., etc. Um all the way down 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we're the 13th ranked team in GT4, which is the last place team. So our I rating 2.5k. So everyone above us is above that. All the way up to um, car number 001, which is a 7K driver. Um, and then believe that a 5.5 a and a 4.8 and a 4.5K. So there we go. Only ways up, BB. Yep. The BB Racing, if you've not followed him on YouTube yet. BB, you need to put some more videos up, buddy. That's Barrack Bergman. Um, really chilled racer. <laughs> I hope you don't mind me saying. Where was that? That was roughly about there, wasn't it? So yeah, we expected to come last. In the top split, I don't mind that because, like Barrack says, if we uh, if we don't come last, then we've done all right, haven't we? Let's turn the ignition off that car because we're just sitting here doing nothing. Right, I'm just going to do some adjustment because I've moved that caps stuff around. Hmm. What have I done here? Okay, we're all right. So yeah, as you see, <laughs> oh, here, Barrack. Just get back to myself. Been dealing with. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Barrack. Ah, no worries, buddy. Yeah, more people should definitely follow you. But yeah, if you if you drop a comment, you'll see it pop up in this screen here. If I, if it's during a race, then obviously I won't have this screen up. This is what you'll see during a race. <laughs> so I can see it on my iPad next to me anyway, so I will reply as soon as I can. It looks like there's less than 40 seconds left of this um, 
practice session. Uh, just looking at what cars people have chosen. So the top two, as in the top two ranked cars, are both in BMW. On track in front of me right now, you can see a white BMW up there. That's Javier Soto. I think Javier is also in a BMW. Um, he's not registered. Well, he's not got an, a high enough I rating to get into that top three. It looks like the ninth place car, ninth at 13. The driver in there is a four and a half K. <laughs> so the top nine have all got drivers four and a half K and above. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is going to be... <laughs> Man from Norfolk who's not very awake with dodgy shoulder tries to hang on <laughs> to the back of the top split pack. Oh dear. But hey, if we can pick people off, if they make mistakes and we don't, we should be alright. I'll try and qualify. I will try and qualify, but I doubt I'm going to be anything other than the last. Um, but we'll give it a go anyway. Right, I'm going to now concentrate on qualifying. So, oh, I've, I've, I think I've kind of trapped a nerve or something like that buddy oh hang on i haven't put my right setup on so that's what the problem is with my shoulder barrack uh my setups right right i'm gonna head out for quality so i'll try and keep up with you when i can i've got three laps of fuel in a tank so the way i do it i just go out get accustomed to the track acclimatized on the first lap, which will set a lap time because it is a valid lap. And then push for the next two. But this first lap, the tyres aren't really up to temperature anyway, so... It's a bit of a write-off anyway. The track temperature is falling. It's now 70 Fahrenheit. <laughs> So again, the um, the delta you'll see is the session best lap. So you won't actually see that kick in at the top of your screen until I've actually come round to that part of the track I've just done. Yeah, cheers, Barrett. Seems all right. A couple of days ago, I wasn't sure whether I was going to be able to do this race. to lift there but I think we'll be all right so I said this is just me getting used to the track really so I'm not really too worried about lap time here I'll still push quite hard in case I mess up on my my two hot laps obviously there's a lot of corners at the Nordsch life and if you mess up on one of them and get a 1x it invalidates that whole lap so I'll try and get a clean lap in Gentle on this curb, guys. <laughs> if you watched the six hour race I did, quite far into that race, well over four hours in, I got caught by that curb. There's something quite nice about being absolutely the slowest ranked or lowest ranked driver on the grid. The pressure's completely off. I could just drive my Aston Martin around the Nordsch life, enjoying the scenery, <laughs> seeing if I can pick up some eye rating somewhere. Somehow. There's plenty that can happen in a four hour race, trust me. I just don't want to get involved in it all. Alright, just negotiate these corners, Barrett, before I reply to you. Yeah, it's a good idea actually. I do turn the, um, I do have lower settings for these endurance races compared to my normal races anyway. So I think in practice I've been sort of okay. So I don't want to really tweak anything now, but yeah, mid race if I think I can't hack it, definitely be doing that. Yeah, good shout, good shout.
Think about this track. Every single corner is one that you will have had an accident round at one point in your practicing or <laughs> sim racing career. Every single corner here is a place for you to stash it. Just got to keep that concentration up. weird thing about having no delta because I'm not comparing against my best ever lap like I said that's irrelevant with these track temperatures um is I've got no idea if I'm on a decent lap or not <laughs> it sort of feels okay but I know I'm driving within myself <clears throat> but something sometimes when you're driving nice and smooth and within yourself you actually go fairly quick <clears throat> bit too much oscillation there because I clipped the inside curve. <clears throat> if that was one of my hot laps, I'd have been a bit annoyed with myself there, but not, not the end of the world on this one. Stay in this carousel. Hard on the throttle on the exit. And because these lower track temperatures, I'm actually keeping in a higher gear around some of these corners. <clears throat> I can see your chat messages coming in, guys, but I just can't read them just yet, just so you know. I'm not ignoring you. <laughs> Hey Josh. bit clumsy there. <laughs> Is that a compliment, Josh? <laughs> I think it's when I've got my gormless face on it now. I do need to see my... <laughs> I'm moving around more than like a, a, you know, a boxer or something like that, I know. Here we go. So this is the first lap. Like I say, I'm not really too worried about lap one. Just getting on the board. He is a legend, he is. I guess you guys are racing. Are you and, and Ollie both racing, Josh? I am the lowest rated GT4 driver in this field. <laughs> so I'll probably be the first guy you come across. Right, here we go. So the Delta now, session best lap, will be against the previous lap. Let's see, Javier Soto's done an 827. I mean, calm down, mate. Calm down. We've done an 834, so we're not last at the moment. B5, very little fuel left. 
Yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing the 24. I've got a bad shoulder, Josh. Like, you know, just like Stephen Hendry, it's holding me back if I've got a bad shoulder. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay, so currently P10, once people have put their first laps in, but we can't read a lot into that, can we? Right, we've got green on a delta. Let's see if we can keep that for the rest of the lap. I think we probably will. Fuel load is coming down. Didn't really want to grab second there, but I felt like I needed it. Yeah, good luck, Josh. Too cautious around there, guys, but never mind. Still green. Well, I couldn't get into that one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get yeah, it already. What's temperature here? You've got half your fuel <clears throat> left. Temperature here in the 4X Annex is about 23 degrees C. I have got aircon next to me, but I haven't put it on yet.
Oh, bit of a transition there. The lights just went on track. Don't know what that was about. What time is this supposed to be? Half nine in the morning. All right. So in sim, it's half nine. And at half nine, that's when the transition is then. Between night and day, I guess. Bit better for the carousel this time. Felt sort of okay around there. Purple sector, okay, that's why. <laughs> All right, flat out around this bit. Another purple, but I think that's all about track temperatures rather than my driving. Whew, okay. So yeah, just heading this way for a, a minute. I do, but yeah, Barrack, I have, um, you can't see the black box obviously because it's um, behind my face, but yeah, I do have it mapped. Ooh, what line was that demo? Well, that's all sorts of just hanging on. Right, let's see where this one puts us. I skipped us up another spot. We're up to P9. Right, this is now the lowest fuel load I'm going to have. The tyres should be nice and warm. But are they already starting to wear out? We'll find out at the end of this lap, won't we? Ah, gotcha, yeah. I'll probably do it in a um in a pit stop anyway, but yeah, I suppose I could do that, couldn't I? Okay, so we're definitely quicker than that guy. Okay, 
Carrying a bit more speed, pushing our luck a little bit more on this lap. Whew. So we're green, we're green, we're green on the Delta. Not enough to jump another person, we're actually back down to P10. Sort of okay exit. Okay, so the leader hasn't gone quicker. Oh my word. The 7K driver's done an 8.24. You kidding? It's me setting purple, so let's try and get within 10 seconds of that. <laughs> Morning Disco Biscuits, how you doing? Whew. This is our last lap of qualifying before we run, <laughs> have a quick loo break and then the race, the four hour race will start. Don't know why I changed down there. Do you ever find that sometimes your hands do things that you didn't really want them to? But like I didn't intend to change down to fourth and it just did. Like whose hands are these? Have I got some sort of co-driver on remote? Is Jim is Jim controlling my left hand? I don't know what's going on. Get in! Uh, I was doing all right through there. Any car you recommend to learn the track? Well, every car is different around here. So whichever car you intend to try and race in. Um, I mean, the MX-5 is great fun around here. I do love the MX-5. And <laughs> the answer to so many questions is the MX-5. So I'll definitely give that a whirl. <laughs> I'm in a Tesla. <laughs> Let's hope there isn't someone standing next to the side of the track and then my car just stops. Yeah, GR86 is cool. You'll see a recent video, well recent, a couple of months ago I did a video on a production car sim lab challenge or whatever it's called, uh, multi-class wide. Well, I did an MX-5 and battling with the Toyotas. I won't tell you how that went, but yeah, it was good fun to be able to battle the Toyotas in the Mazda. A little deep there, but I can try and get a later apex. Nah, it's a couple of attempts gone. I don't know if I'm now starting to feel the tyre wear very slightly. Got to not try and make up the time by overdriving. The car won't go quicker just by overdriving. All oh, these transitions between light and dark are just really annoying. I don't know if you can see that on stream come on come on better exit there well, I think I am slower around this section than I have been Is that front end just not not biting Yeah, I really feel like we haven't quite got as much grip as we had on the previous lap. Can we keep it green though? Can we keep it green?
Whoa, back end a little bit skippy there. Figures. Although this is only the third lap on this tyres, I mean, for like most tracks, this would be about like 10 or 11, wouldn't it? <sighs> Very slightly green, but I don't think. Oh, we dropped. We dropped another place. So we're P11 at the moment. I don't think this is... Well, this is definitely not going to get us up to P10. Um, we're eight temps behind P10 at the moment. Two litres remaining. Cheers, Jim. Should get me to the finish line, shouldn't it? Morning, Russell. How you doing, matey? Sorry I couldn't stick around for much of your stream yesterday. Oof. There we go. Right. Just as Russell arrives. That's your best lap in this session. You're currently 4.5 seconds off the pace. You've just done a 8.31.8 seconds. Bad luck, Damo. Don't rush. Get it running. Get it back in the race. He's... Oh, blimey. Someone's put 50p in, Jim. Right. I know you've just arrived, Russell. But... I've now got a couple of minutes. I'll leave the results page up there for you. Um, that's where we are at the moment. So I'm just going to run and um, have a comfort break. Comfort break. You're over there, not over there. Uh, and I'll see you back here in about one or two minutes. And then we're going to do four hours in the Nürburgring. So, yeah, see you there in a couple of minutes. Leader has just done a eight twenty two point eight. There. Yeah, Russell, I'll um, I'll try and catch it during the week. See how you got on. So no spoilers, <laughs> unless someone asks you how you did and you want to tell them. What I'm gonna do. Ready for the race. That's the end of the session. Oh, are we still the 11 out of 13? Oh, you know what? We're last, last ranked driver. Another thing that is um, 
this is potentially team racing for for some of these teams as well. Um, so they may well have put their faster driver in for the qualifying. And um, yeah, during a race, they'll switch out to someone who isn't quite as quick. Don't know. But I think our best chance of a result here is um, them making mistakes. Well, I better put my race set up on, haven't I? Uh, I'm actually putting my six-hour set up on just because it's <laughs> slightly better than my four-hour one. It doesn't really make any difference. DC Nord six-hour GT4 race. Open that. Survive. <laughs> yes, Barrett. Let me know how you can do that. What's the survive button on my steering wheel? Right, how long have we got to get on the grid? A minute. Oh, it's quite ages. Radio check. gloves on. Hi, radio check. Hi, hi. Mm. Can't hear that chat. I'm going to switch. Scenes in a second. For you guys. Uh, actually, you're already on the right scene, so... Yeah, so there we go. So we, we are um, the eleven on the grid. Um, while well, we've got a few seconds. Yeah, uh, Hang on. Get on the grid. Just a mic check, was it? Good luck. Let's um go into my black yeah. box and go to all teams. Good luck. Oh, everyone's being nice, aren't they? Right. I will then switch it on to. Oh, I'll switch my car on. P11. The air temp is 66 Fahrenheit. Right, we do not want fast repair ticks, so I've made sure that's not ticked. Follow car number 600 in the right column. We have got throttle. Right, here we go for four hours. Pit stop set, it's, uh, I don't want to do it just yet because if there's an incident on the first lap, I don't want them to be replacing all my tyres and that and wasting time doing that when the tyres are still brand new. I skipped this way too late. So I will, I will tick everything when we're about three or four laps into the race. Right, here we go. I'm pretty sure that Porsche behind us with the German stripe down the bonnet that was behind us in a race recently <clears throat> maybe here maybe the last one here anyway so there's no delta at the top of your screen until obviously we've done a lap because it's set to session best lap again <clears throat> so if you wonder why that's not there let's try and get around lap one so i always think that this is a race of three thirds um, these endurance races. The first third is actually the first lap. Surviving that first lap, that's the first third done. The next third is the middle phase when you're just racing GT4s and then the final third is most of the race at the end when you're uh, lapping people and people are lapping you. So we'll try and get through this first third which is just the one lap. Cheers Steve! I think I'm gonna need it. This isn't my first rodeo but you just never know what to expect. The last few that I've done of these have actually First laps have been really good. So over there, car number 12. Technically, we out-qualified car 12. The pink car. So we should be quicker than them. But if my, um, if my column here doesn't get a move on, I am going to be behind them at the start. So I really want to be in front of that pink car, because I think they are slower than me. Right, I'm going to be quiet just while we do this first lap, guys. Go. Yeah, my column hasn't got a move on there, so we are stuck behind this pink one. Single file round here. So we've lost a spot already. Not a lot I could do, though, because that Aston just wasn't going. Never mind, we'll settle in. Yeah, BB. <laughs> Cold tyres. Fat car. Let's see what we can do. Okay, 
Right, everyone's been sensible so far. No carnage yet. Oh, someone's spinning around. Which way are you going? Okay. So let's compromise this pink car. I'm not sure we're going to have enough to have a run at him in. No. Right, so like I said, we know we're quicker than this car, but getting past isn't as easy as you'd like to think, <laughs> especially with a Porsche trying to get past me. Cold tires, having to be sensible. Frame rate's dropping as well because there's cars around me. The gap in front is now 0.5. <clears throat> right. Now he's got extra safe for it, extra safe written on the back of his car because of his faux sponsorship. But are they going to drive extra safe, <laughs> or is is he going <laughs> to burn through his rubber? <laughs> quite early on the brakes there. Very cautious around this bit. Oh, he let me through? Yes, nice one. I think he knows we're quicker. Thanks, Matthias. Right, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Still got a heavy car and cold tyres. Right, gap in front three and a half. Can we do anything about that? <clears throat> Cheers, Barrett. Oh, something's happened at the top of the screen there. What a pair of heroes. I think the guy behind is slightly quicker in a straight line, or it may, might just be a little bit of my toe. But yeah, they're quick round there. Right, this part of the circuit I tend to be fairly quick at, so we'll see how we do. 
Yeah, he's obviously got no confidence around the carousel because he's over two seconds back now. Marcin. Yeah, Marcin selects in the Porsche. We have definitely raced against Marcin before. Right, we've definitely gapped people behind us now then. Eyes forward. Big heavy car. Oof. Right, so we have got auto fuel set and it will begin fueling, so that's good. There's a windscreen tear off, it's already ticked. There's no fast repair, just want to save that in case we actually desperately need it. I'll tick the tyres on the next lap. Yeah, BB, it's, um, it really does spread you out, these, this track. You end up kind of racing in a bit of a pocket where the, the people in front of you are faster. People behind you are slower. We haven't quite got that pocket yet because I think we are faster than the guy in the Porsche in front of us. It's a 2.6k driver, so very similar I rating, but... I think we have got the pace on them. Oh, that's an interesting question, BB. You know what? I've not really done endurance racing at Spa. But I think, yeah. I think it probably does, yeah. Three hours around here doesn't seem anywhere near as bad as doing three hours at a, a normal track. Which gets really repetitive very quickly. I mean, I've never been a fan of doing the um, Petit Le Mans at Road Atlanta because I can imagine that just gets... So boring, so quick. Oh, we're not boring because obviously the, the multi class nature of it, but yeah, I've never fancied that. But this one certainly keeps you entertained for longer, <laughs> and it feels, yeah, maybe it feels quicker. Whoa, no, you don't. 
Right, the car telling me it's not ready yet. <laughs> it's not ready for bush mode yet. Attack mode. Right, we'll try again. We lost a bit of time there to the guy in front. So he's still over two seconds ahead. Ah, oh, should have been within two seconds by now, but no, not to worry. I can see it being a race long battle with this this Porsche because how similar our I ratings are and since he was a higher rated team than me despite being so close on I rating he's probably doing it solo as well so it might be a race long battle between me and Loic Right. Still 2.1. Yeah, I think we're very evenly matched. It'll be a four hour battle, this. There'll probably be parts of the track where he's quicker, parts of the track where I'm quicker. Thank you. Ooh. How do they make up the time if it's a team list driver swaps? They just do it as they're changing tyres, mate. So uh, it'll let you do a driver swap while you're changing tyres. I believe anyway I'm pretty sure that's the case I'm sure that's what happened when we did the uh, when me and Austin did the um, Watkins Glen six hour race we didn't worry about driver swaps because every time we came in for a drive stop we were changing tyres anyway Hi Neil. So we just started the race buddy, we're lap two. We're in the GT4s of course and we are the last, the lowest ranked team. Even though it's just me, you know, as a team. We are 13th out of 13. But we are currently running P10. So anything that's not last <laughs> is a bonus. We qualified P11. Someone spun on the first lap, so we managed to make up a spot there. Well, we lost a spot on the rolling start and then made that back up again. I got alongside him and he let me pass. Um, so that guy is now nine seconds back. And we're just chasing down this green Porsche, who's very similar on pace to me. I think our qualifying times are very similar. But when we're the lowest ranked car, it's all about survival. We're trying to pick people off if they make mistakes later in the race. Ah, oh, it's an off track. Just ran a little bit too wide on that exit. Yes, Jimbo.
All right, on to the Dossinger once again. Time for a drink. Whew. Couldn't remember what my button was to tick. I think I changed it recently, so I've had to use my mouse there. But we're alright, so we are going to refuel and we are going to get tyres at the next stop. Well, we've gained a little bit on the guy there. But we're losing time to Simone in P8 in the BMW. deep into there, a little bit deep into there. Down to 40 frames per second at the moment. It doesn't like this part of the track, does it? I've got a 3070 graphics card and a really good processor, but it still does not like trying to get around here. That may not come across because I'm streaming in 30 frames per second, so you guys might not see a difference, but to me it's really really different from the 120 frames per second I get around most of the track. Right, the Delta looks very green, but that's just because it's still comparing us against my opening lap from the rolling start, because that last lap I did had an off track in it. So technically that lap time was deleted. So if you think I've gone three seconds quicker than the last lap, I haven't. <laughs> Shoulder's doing okay. So for those of you who don't know, I've had a trapped nerve in my shoulder this week. And it was touch and go whether we were going to do this race. But at the moment, we're doing all right. The gap in front is now 1.9 seconds. It's amazing what um, chasing down a Porsche game and around a Nürburgring can do for pain relief. <clears throat> it should be prescribed, shouldn't it? You can't feel pain if you've got no chance to think of anything other than driving. Yeah, cheers, Barrett. What are you doing up so early anyway, mate? Oh, you not gone to bed yet? Uh, not great round there. Yeah, 
Yeah, all the way around there. Was rubbish. Shame I lost a few attempts around that section because, um, yeah, we're, we're over two seconds behind again now. So it's little fine margins, isn't it? One little tiny, you know, you're slightly offline on the brakes, and that's that whole lap wiped out of, of catching up with the guy in front. But the gap in front has increased, it's now about 2.2. Yes, sir. I did not want to clip that curb on the inside there, but I did. Yeah, interestingly, the Aston Martin that spun on lap one had been making its way up, but got stuck behind that pink BMW. Which is rising. It's now 78. And it's now dropped behind Marcin again. So... Those guys are running about 10 seconds behind us. As a group. It's a little pack. Right, we've caught up a little bit to this Porsche. Keep doing what we're doing, don't overdrive. Don't get desperate to catch him. I'll only slow you down if you overdrive. Oh, another 1x, so this lap's gonna be invalid as well. Right, so that's the new place where I get 1x's. Okay. Right, here we go onto the Dossinger again. 1.6 the gap to the Porsche this time. Alright Damo, you're in and this guy in. The gap's now 1.6. Oh. I'm going to put my aircon on so you might hear a bit of that when I talk. Oh, that's better. Oh, already. <laughs> that's nice. Right, it looks like this guy's got a quite a high downforce setup compared to me because I've gained half a second on the Dottinger. So maybe that's why he's doing all right around the twisty bits. Yeah, yeah, I think it's got to be a setup thing, isn't it? Mind you, I think when we tested the Porsche back in when we were doing the, uh, well, thinking about doing the Nürburgring 24. The Porsche was quite slow in a straight line. But then they did bulk the, um, the power of the Aston. Right, so again, don't get excited about that green delta. That's just comparing against my opening lap. Not that last one I did. But 
if we can get close to this guy onto the Dottinger, we might be able to drive past. I really want to drive past and get enough of a gap, though, so that he's not then following us around the next lap. Right, so the guys behind are now 15 seconds back, and MK, the uh, the guy who spun, is out of sight, so I'm not sure what's happened to them. MK Racing, that was. Come here, little Porsche. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Little green frog eye. Come on. Let's get one and a half. There is a GT3 behind us on the same lap, so they must have pitted for something. They're 22 seconds back, so they're probably going to get us at the end of this lap. Oh yeah, cheers Barrack. <laughs> Both covered off that same bit of info. Hey, just the gamer dad, how you doing mate? We're in a bit of a battle with this Porsche in front. I think this is going to be a four hour long battle because we're so evenly matched. Different car setups mean we're different, uh, quick in different sections. He's got the twisty bits covered. I've got the straight bits covered. Oh good, good to hear. So we're in the GT4 class. There are 13 cars in this class and we were ranked number 13. So anything other than last is good. Come on, come on. used all the track there on the entry. I was a bit thrown because he used so much curb. I don't know if you guys saw that. I thought he was going to be heading into the barriers. Ah, oh, it's a shame. We're just over a second behind. I could do with a toe down this next bit, but I think we might be too, too far back. 14 seconds. Okay, so uh, he's got to catch us in the twisties, isn't he? So that car behind, for anyone watching, is a GT3, so they're a higher class car than us, but for some reason he's on this lap, so he has had a, an incident or made a pit stop or something like that. We'll try our best to let him through, but we're not going to get blue flag warnings to let us know because we're technically racing for position. Hopefully Jim will let us know anyway. See, on this bit, I haven't got that straight line advantage that I have down the Dottinger. So uphill, maybe his power's better at getting up the hill there. But then the aero is better for me on the Dottinger. 
I say if, if the Aston was nerfed a while back, a couple of horsepower down, I think our power's not great compared to the Porsche, but our aero is better. Mind you, we are close. <laughs> Yeah, I bet car number two is swearing. They don't want to be behind. A couple of GT4s battling at all. Oh, he's missed his apex there. But I think he, he is quick around this bit with that extra downforce. Alright, no off track this time, Damo. Right, I can see him behind me. Yeah, he's going to have to wait. I'm sorry, mate, but we're racing for position. I'm not willing to move. Oh, the Porsche is off. The Porsche is off. Right, we've got the Porsche then. <laughs> Maybe he was distracted. Maybe he was distracted by this car coming. What are you doing, mate? There's a bloody straight coming up. Okay, Damon. You've got half your fuel left. Come on. Right, you better give me a toe. Now you've slowed me down. Come on. Wait. 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 He's gone. He's gone. Oh, right, okay. So this changes things. So Loic's now 10 seconds behind. Okay. I think this puts us in the pocket though. because oh, oh, my wrist. Because I think we were quicker than Loic. And so it should now be the case that people behind us are slower. People in front are faster. Um, unless that MK team suddenly reappears. But I don't know if they're disconnected or what's going on. Because they're not on my uh, relative at all. But anyway, running P9 now over the line. Right, we need mistakes <laughs> like that one from Loic. We need that from other people now. Whew. And relax. How far into the race are we? 35 minutes in. A bit different from those 15 minute races I've been doing. I definitely prefer these longer races. The 15 minute ones, people are just... They're so desperate to make a pass and... Battle. Here it's like all about just surviving and everyone drives really well. Generally anyway. Right, P9. <laughs> We're doing all right. We're doing all right. Thirteenth place, remember. Thirteenth ranked. If you haven't liked the video already, please give it a like. Let's get everyone <laughs> showing YouTube that this is worth a watch. Oh, and then he misses his apex. Oh my god. Yeah, don't like it. Then. <laughs> I got that one. I got that apex, guys. I'm getting some of them. Right, this is the thing about this endurance race. Even when you're in this pocket, 
It's then still you against the track. You can't relax. <laughs> Every single corner. Every single corner is a chance to stuff it. And I have, over the years, the many, many years, through Gran Turismo and then obviously all your racing. If you go around this track, I think every single corner I've had an incident at. Laps ticked off. Hopefully, some of the front running guys will have a lower rank ranked teammate who might make a mistake. I don't know. I think four hours, though, a lot of people are going to be trying this solo. Four hours is a, a really nice distance to try solo. Even with a bad shoulder. <laughs> I keep forgetting about. It's brilliant. Honestly, if I'm sat in front of the telly watching telly, I'm like, oh, I keep moving around, shuffling around, but doing this. Just, yeah, I just do this all day. Oh, back end's getting a little bit loose around there. The previous corner was a... There was a little bit of a drift, and I think that perhaps just put a bit too much heat into the tyres there. Whoa. Right. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to focus on these tyres now, guys. I don't know if this is where, or they've just got a bit hot somewhere, somehow. A4.99. <laughs> yeah, it better be. So Loic's gaining on me, so he's, he's 10.7 back. But because I'm driving a bit cautious at the moment to look after those tyres, he is actually gaining on me a little bit. Oh, Neil, I'm sure you could. Try a um, one of the Michelin Pilot ones, mate. Michelin Pilot ones are two hours, you could do them solo. They're a nice little endurance race to do. Okay, I think my tyres are, they feel a bit better now, I've got a bit more confidence in them. We can start pushing a little bit harder again. Incidentally, this will be my 50th video on this channel. So, Bit of a mini milestone there. A lot of the advice that you hear when you're setting up your YouTube channel is to not worry about your first hundred. Thank you. Just use the first hundred to kind of start making your videos better and better. Every, every video you put up there, just try and make it slightly better than the previous one. Try different things, different editing, different thumbnails, different lighting, blah, 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 blah. So we're halfway through that process now. I'm up to 300 subscribers um, at the start of today.
We see Lorenzo LDFR. Lorenzo Di Francesco Antonio has just hit his 1,000 subscribers. Fantastic result. The amount of work he puts into his videos is incredible. The editing, so entertaining. Thank you. Yeah, 50 already, mate. I mean, that does include shorts, and I don't really tend to do shorts, but YouTube does still consider them a video. So I think about six of my videos are shorts. Around six of them are live streams like this, and then the rest, 35 or whatever. 36, some, no. Yeah, whatever, um, are actual videos. Cheers, Russell. Just need people in front to start battling or to have rubbish teammates. <laughs> of editing. It's so much easier to just do a live stream, isn't it? <laughs> right, two laps and then we'll be pitting. It is. <laughs> You're not wrong. Okay, so Matthias in the BMW has got past Loic behind. Matthias is the uh, the BMW, the pink BMW of the extra safe branding. cautious around there but uh, I'm not sure how much I can lean on my tyres at the moment right I'm guessing the uh, for the amount of chat we've had on a radio thanks etc and these messages like pass right that the GT3s are passing the GRs now
behind is now 13 seconds. Okay. Bit slow around there. A bit late turning in there. What's going on, Damien? Come on. Hmm. Definitely helping the guys behind catch me. Come on, come on. Yeah, hopefully they're battling and they're not going to catch me. If they work together, they will. Yep, yeah, got a GR on the horizon. Nineteen, it might be down the Dottinger then. Nineteen seconds. Whoa, a bit too much curb there. It's a fine line between using those big curbs as a, a bit of a berm to stop you going out too wide and then then becoming a bit of a a ramp that lifts up your inside or outside tire. Such fine margins. Right, 12 seconds. I don't think I'm going to catch him down this straight then. Franco Ruggieri. I'm sure we've, 12 seconds. I'm sure we've raced a Franco Ruggieri before. Relax his arm a bit. Oh, definitely feeling it. So this next lap will be an in lap for us. Someone's dropped you to packet loss, so someone's been blinking. 
I don't think that's going to be one in our class. I can't be that lucky. Bit cumbersome around there, Damo. That wasn't great. Right. That lap was at eight thirty-six. Very little fuel left in this lap. Box this lap. It's nice of him to let me know to pass, because I would have been unsure if I hadn't had that message. <laughs> one done track temperatures going up as well so it's going to be affecting our lap times Right, got another one, 16 seconds ahead. Another Toyota. The track temps increasing, it's now 82 Fahrenheit. Right, about 55 minutes into the race now. And this is our end lap. You're pulling away. The gap behind is now 13 seconds. Yeah, so the two behind are now just less than half a second apart. But they have cleared that Toyota. Right, here we go. Jeff. Come on, Jeff. Jeff and his Toyota. That's not held up. Right. Let's hope that Jeff is predictable. He's a 2.8k driver, so I'm sure he will be. It's actually worked out quite nicely. Lovely, lovely. Right. 
no more slower cars for the rest of this lap by looks of things so me against the track for the last half of this lap and then into the pits that's the first of four big stints done Almost ran out of road there. Oh, fairly decent lap so far, but it's not going to count because we're going to come into the pits. So in terms of lap time, it's not going to really register. Yeah, not a bad lap. Um, we've passed a couple of Toyotas on this one, run right at the start, and then one about halfway round. <laughs> right, so not everyone's doing a four lap, uh, an eight lap opening stint. I'm sure some of those front runners will be. Maybe even some of the people behind us will be. But we're very much a seven lap stint here. Whew. Right. Soto is now in the lead. Yeah, so Soto's gone for the eight lap opening stint which is what he does he did last time just make sure I've got all my tyres ticked which I have and it'll be we'll begin fueling etc so that's good A little bit cautious in that final bit there, but I have made mistakes there in the past. Watch your speed. Pit lane speed limit is 60 kilometers per hour. Oh, we're already here, look. 100 meters, 50 meters. We think we'll need to stop again. Good job I had my wits about me there, wasn't it? Right up at the start of the... Um, start of the pit lane. That uh, opens. Okay, so the Beamer behind and the Porsche behind are both pitting as well. Oh, they've got an even more awkward pit stall than I have. Cheers, BB. Yep. Fairly satisfied with that one. Oh, hang on. I've still got another couple of laps of fuel to put in. <coughs> All right, let's go. Come on.
So hopefully we're going to be coming out into fairly clear traffic. Looks like we have got a couple of Toyotas to, to pass. But the TCR lead is still a minute behind us. That's good. All right, don't cross the white line, Demo. Cold tyres. Heavy car. You know the drill. Late apex for that one, they get nice and straight on the exit. Nice and sensible around that bit. Right, my tyres is 18.3 behind. Let's see what sort of opening lap we can get. I think Marcin must have missed his pit box because he's quite far back now and we got a full tank so he would he can't have been stopped for longer than we were he must have overshot his pit box Loose. I braked earlier than normal then, it's still a little bit loose. Catch you later, BB. Right, this is Kazmi. Kazmi, in the past, has told people which side to go. Oh, sh sugar. That's a bit hairy, wasn't it? <laughs> Sorry, Kazmi. <laughs> Went over a bit of a crest and ended up touching the grass. Oh well, we got through safely in the end. Where are we going to get this one? Perhaps in the same place as last time? Yeah, it could well be in the same place as last time, so that's quite handy. We've dress rehearsed this, haven't we? <laughs> Lovely job. Absolute carbon copy of last time. We're getting past that driver. So that's how much faster the GT4 cars are than the GRs. Exactly one pit stop <laughs> per lap. Jeff. Right. Whew. Two hours 53 to go. 
22 degrees here in the 4X Annex. Catching. The gap's now 18 seconds. It was 18 seconds. It was 18.7, it's now 18.6. He is catching, I guess. He is catching, but I've got two Toyotas between us. Soto is pitting. Right. Pulling away from the person behind. Gap's now 20 seconds. And he's going to be stuck behind that Toyota now through this twisty section. Unless he can get a very polite wave by from Jeff. And I don't think he has. Yeah, he's still stuck behind Jeff. Oh, the gap's now 23 seconds. He's losing so much time. He must have made a mistake because he's a second behind Jeff now. He's not even hassling in him. Luke Tone Racing oh, was just in the pits and they're not anymore not sure what that was about alright so now Matthias has managed to get past Jeff but he's 25 seconds back So even if Matthias is a second of lap quicker than us, they're not going to catch us now. There's not enough laps in the race. Make it easier to be able to catch a second of lap if I go too deep into turn one. You're supposed to be making life hard for him, Damo. Alright, still no uh, GT3s on my radar trying to catch me, so I feel like we're very much in this middle third where it's just us against the track.
still having to lift into that corner. Yeah, so very much running P10 now. P9 according to the gym. I'm not sure what that's about. A relative definitely show P10. But then I suppose, yeah, P7 is behind us. So Loic is behind us. So Loic must have done an eight lap stint to begin with. Technically crossed the line in P7 as he came into the pits after the eight laps. Okay. So we are P9, but Loic has done his eight lap stint and we haven't. So we're still set to do a splash and dash at the end of the race and he's not. Right, let's take some hot laps here because he's 47 seconds behind and I need to be able to do a splash and dash and he doesn't. So this race long battle with that green Porsche is having to be done kind of remotely because we're on different parts of the track. So 48 seconds but we are racing each other. My splash and dash at the end of the race won't be very long. Just one lap of fuel, no tyres. Although, I say just one lap of fuel, that's quite a lot of fuel around here. <laughs> but if I can keep that over 30 seconds, I think we'll be all right.
Oh, had to get off the throttle there. My line wasn't quite right and I nearly clipped the curb on the inside. Had to release the steering wheel a bit. I meant I ran just on the grass creek on the exit. A little tiny mistake like that could easily be a race ender. Right, on to the Dottinger again. Get into this sixth gear, and then we'll tick. Oh, my arm, ow. Oh, blimey. Okay. Right, another lap done. Five to go before we pit. Ooh. Sector one is 2.8 seconds off the pace. Sector two is 3.0 seconds off the pace. Sector three is 3.8 off the pace. Okay, Damo, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Thank you, Jim. Nice and smooth around there, got a nice green delta. Car feeling good right now. A little bit late turning in there, so lost a couple of temps, but. Okay, I've got Zach who's leading the uh, the GT3s. Zach is now just less than a minute behind. Okay, I don't think he'll get us on this lap. Maybe on the next one. Getting warm. Still reasonably low, but I think you can definitely notice a difference from the 70 that it was when we started the race. So Matthias behind is now 30 seconds behind. Nice little buffer back to P10. So the race leaders have swapped out their 7k driver for someone who's 8.4. <laughs>
Thank you. Okay, next car on the horizon is a Toyota. Not for a while yet, but it's the next car in front of us. Nice bit of empty racetrack at the moment. A little bit delayed getting on the throttle, but not too bad, not too bad. These higher track temps and the uh, slight bit of tyre where we're starting to get in this stint now means it's hard to keep up with that delta. Same for everyone though, so not too worried. Oh, there's a sorry. Kazmi must have been in contact with someone maybe when Kazmi was getting passed by a faster class car. Okay, now Matthias behind us is now being hassled by Zach, the GT3 leader, and the GT3 leader's got past him. That's a better line through there this lap. Brilliant. Oh. Got to set that corner up just a few corners in advance. Make sure you're heading into it on the right line, otherwise you end up chasing your tail all the way through that section. About to enter the Dottinger once again. And we'll tick all our tyres when we do. So we're not going to pit for a few laps yet, but I'll just get these tyres ticked. So if you're just joining us, this is a four hour race, uh, the Nürburgring Endurance Championship. So this is the Nordschleife and the GP loop combined. And we're in the GT4s, which is the middle class. One of the cars we're coming up here now is the, the lower class, fifth out of five, Toyota GR. Uh, the lead cars are the uh, the GT3s, which are in yellow, and we're going to have them starting to lap us on this next lap. But of the GT4s, there are 13 of us in this split. Uh, we were ranked the lowest in terms of our I rating. 
I say hour, I mean I'm doing this solo, so my my eye rating was the lowest of any team. So we managed to qualify, I think, tenth or eleventh, and now we're running P9, which isn't bad if we're the, the lowest ranked team. Keep it up. We've still got two and a half hours to go of this four-hour race, so we're definitely in a rhythm now, and just waiting for these uh, faster cars to start lapping us. And so begins the hardest part of the race. As I'm now lapping Toyotas, as you just saw, saw there, I went past Yant. At the same time, as faster class cars are starting to overtake me. But if you like the video at any point, please do give it a like. It helps me understand what you guys like to see. It also helps YouTube to understand what to show to other people. And if you want to leave a comment, I'll try <laughs> and respond when it's appropriate. A lot of this track, I do have to keep an eye on the road. But if you do leave a comment or a question and chat hasn't got the answer for you, I will definitely answer it for you when I get on the straight. If you're watching back during the week, thank you. I know a lot of you have this on in the background while you're working. So crack on. Get back to work. Right, Zach's seven seconds behind now. So the GT3 is uh, almost 40 seconds a lap quicker than me. In the GT4. And in front of us we see another Toyota. So we'll be catching them at about the same time as Zach's going to be catching us on the exit of this quick double right here, what I believe is Flugplatz. So I hope to get this Toyota cleared before the GT3 comes. Yes, nice. He's going to send it. He's in a bit of a hurry, isn't he? <laughs> he wanted to get past me there, didn't he? <laughs> Zach's on it. He's 16 seconds ahead of P2, Hayata Saga. But he wasn't going to give up any of that time by just waiting behind me for a corner. <laughs> I love it. I love it when they get past Colleen Lee. <laughs> I wonder if Hayata's going to be quite so aggressive. So Hayata's a 7.3k driver. 14 seconds behind us right now. On it. Yeah, you know what? The neck, the shoulder, the arm, they're struggling a little bit, but I only really seem to feel it when I'm in the pits. <laughs> when I'm driving, I forget about it. It's the best kind of pain relief is fighting an Aston Martin around the Norch life. But yeah, now, oh, now you've mentioned it. <laughs> Nice to see you here anyway, mate. How are you getting on? Thank you. Ooh. Nice. 
Okay, Hayata's now six seconds behind. Good to hear, good to hear, Doug. You're not going to try this race then, mate. Just so you know, Doug, we're running P9 at the moment. We were the 13th ranked car out of 13, so we only just got into top split this time. We were almost going to be car number one of the second split. If one more person would have signed up, we would have shoved down into, the, into split two. All right, here comes the faster class cars. Where is he going to get me? Sorry, mate. I'm sorry. Blue flag. Yeah, I know there's blue flags, but I'm busy. Got to let him go there because he's coming through no matter what. Right, next one's about seven seconds behind. Definitely the trickiest part of this race is when you're getting lapped and lapping other people at the same time. So I'm glad that they're coming round one at a time at the moment. Two hours 25 to go. A lot, a lot is going to happen in that two hours 25. Too long, nah. What else you doing? <laughs> you can stop at the pit stops, can't you? <laughs> Don't mention bladder again, though, because I'll start needing it. <laughs> You know, it wasn't too bad, even in the six hour. Although, yeah, to be honest, actually, the six hour is not a good example because we were out of the car for part of that, weren't we? But these four hour races don't seem to be too bad on the old bladder. Right, let's get myself a drink. Tires are all ticked. We have auto fuel set. Oh, but it's still going to be another three laps before we pit anyway. So Daniel, P3 and the GT3s will be getting us on this next lap. It looks like we're going to have a lot of GT3 traffic on this next lap, guys. Survival is the key. Hmm, okay. All right, track temperature is still going up and up and up. It's up to 88 Faraday, excuse me, now. So I don't think we're going to be threatening a Delta at all for the rest of this race. Sector 1 is 4.8 seconds off the pace. Sector 2 is 3.8 off the pace. Sector 3 is 4.2 seconds off the pace. Oh, concentrating some of doing all sorts of things with my mouth. <laughs> Biting my lip and sticking my tongue out. Right, six seconds back to Luke and the GT3 now. Two hours, 22 minutes, and 20... 
two seconds <laughs> to go. There's a faster class car behind. I don't think you'll be there long, mate. Two seconds back now. There's a whole gaggle of them coming. This is gonna get spicy. Right, there's two gone. There's still one behind. This is going to get hairy around here. Cool. Sort of worked out okay there. We've got five seconds till the next one. <clears throat> right, he's going to be getting us around the forest. That now forced. It's three seconds back. Hopefully, he'll be getting us on the exit. He can run too wide around the exit um, of this bit. All right, Damo. There's a faster class car approaching. I don't know if he's close enough. It's still 1.8 back. 1.6. Yeah, this is going to get hairy. I'm going to see you're going to be saying that a lot, aren't I? He's waited. He has waited. He's going to send it here, I'm sure. And they've got a bit of a gap because there's 30 seconds before the next one comes along. Well, 30, 30 seconds back. It's going to be more than 30 seconds by the time he gets here. Unless I just stop. So that might be it for this lap. Lost a little bit of time, but only maybe a second and a half. I don't think we'd be troubling the Delta even if we were on our own. Because these track temps. Whew. So Matthias is now 37 seconds behind, but it's not really him that I've got to keep an eye on. It's Loic. So I'm not sure how far back Loic is. But it looks like. He's about 17 seconds behind Matthias. So that's good news for us. That's good news for us. Looks like we're, we're settled quite nicely into this P9. It doesn't sound great, but actually, you know, considering the strength of field in this thing. All these top guys with their 7 and 8k ratings. P9, not bad, not bad. That, of course, relies on us getting round in P9. And over two hours to negotiate of the Nürburgring with people in different classes around us. So far, just two incident points. Nothing in qualifying, and only two in the race where I ran wide at the same corner two laps in a row. That's silly. But we should see ourselves on A4.99. Safety rating, absolute maxed out the safety rating after this race. So I love to see. Uh, 
Highest score for you. It's our safety rating at the moment. 4.6. I'm not far off of 4.9 anyway, but... Sorry, man. Couldn't decide. I was uh, on the zero of the track. My steering went really light there as I went over a little bit of a crest. A bit disconcerting. One of those early indications that your tyres aren't quite where they need to be. As the track temperature continues to go up and my tyre wear goes up as well. It's hard to be consistent on a Nordschleifer when everything's consistent. It's hard, to, even harder to be consistent when everything's inconsistent. Okay. Sixth gear. I'll get a windscreen tear off as well while I'm in the pits. So, fuel is set. Bars are all set. Right. So, it's going to be a couple of laps still until we pit. I know I keep saying it. But <laughs> it's like it's going to be another busy lap with uh, GT3s on the next lap, but they're probably going to be coming one at a time. Unless they they pit, I don't know if they're due a pit stop about now. I don't know. No, because Daniel behind has already pitted on lap twelve, so he's on an out lap then. Hopefully he'll get me on the exit of this double right hander. Right. Little tiny bit of a toe off this GT3, and then there's 20 seconds back until Tom, 4.4k driver with a lower safety rating. Oh, frame rate, don't do that to me. Fifty-two FPS. It's all right when you get out away from that GP loop, but I don't really want to have to turn my graphic settings down just for one corner or one sequence of corners. But it really is bad every time I go around there. Casby's here then. Not sure what car Casby's in. Yeah, it does. Yeah, Doug. It's just when you're having to... It's having to render the GP loop as well as the Nautilus life, innit? Yeah. Whew. 
The track temperature's rising. It's now 90 Fahrenheit. Okay. Okay, so we were four seconds quicker than Luke Tone Racing. And I think that might be... Is that the guy we're worried about? I think it is. They stopped on lap eight, so Luke Tone Racing, we actually managed to pull four seconds on on that lap. Tom is four seconds behind us now. Hopefully he'll get us up the hill. The long old hill. And not try and lunge before then. Three seconds. <clears throat> yeah, looks like it's going to be side by side up the hill. Okay, Damo. There's a faster class car approaching. Okay. Blue flag. I'm going to stick to the left-hand side here. Resolutely on this white line. Had to have a little bit of a lift to make sure he had room. So Shuji Endo next. Shuji's 30 seconds back. So perhaps it's going to be the next lap then. Two hours and nine minutes to go, guys. Two hours and nine. Well, plus whatever lap we have to complete. Which is why I have to do the splash and dash. If they, this race was exactly four hours, we'd be alright. But it won't be. In top split, the leader of the GT3s typically starts a fresh lap. Which we will then have to complete. Here we go. Stick tight to the right hand side here, so then we're flat out from here on. Try and keep it straight over this crest here. And grab a gear around this bit. Right. Oof. 
So if you just joined us, <laughs> we're coming up to halfway through this race. <clears throat> this is a four-hour race around the Nürburgring. Nürburgring Endurance Championship. So there's five classes. We're in the middle one. We're in the GT4s. So if you see yellow on the relative, yellow numbers, they are the GT3s. Then we've got blues, which are the Porsche Cup cars. They'll be lapping us probably in about half hour. Um, and then us, we're in the pink, GT4s. And you've got purple for TCR and then green for the slowest class, which is the GR, Toyota GRs. There are 13 of us in the GC4 grid. As we joined the race, it ranked us 13 out of 13 in terms of our R rating. So anything that's not last is a bonus. So we're currently running P9. Awkward there with that GT3 coming out. I think we did as best as we possibly could there because we were having to let him go losing as little time as possible so although we have lost at least a second doing that at least we avoided contact with Felipe so this will be our in lap We'd have to drive way too conservatively if we want to try and stretch the fuel over two laps, so it's not worth doing. If you're going to try and do an eight lap stint, you have to decide to do that from the very beginning and then save through the whole stint. So we'd not be doing that. What we're going to be doing instead is just having a splash and dash right at the end. Right, so Shuji is now five seconds behind us. Should be getting us on the way up to Flugplatz. Nope, not close enough to get us up here, so hopefully they'll be getting us on the exit instead. Whew. But we are in this lap. We are boxing this lap. It's a faster car approaching. Blue flag. Right, so I'm going to stay left. I've got to lift, I've got to lift. If you're going to flash me, mate, go past. Right, we've got another one that's going to get us on the exit here. He's through as well, and there's a bit of a gap to the next one. Yes, yeah, so that Porsche came up behind me, flashing me, so I stayed to the left, and then he backed out. Which compromised us both. So obviously in multi-class class, uh, let's try again, <laughs> in multi-class racing, people flash the lights all the time, it's, it's not, you know, offensive, it's not like trying to annoy you or anything like that, it's just saying, by the way, I'm, I will be coming past you now. So it just gives you a bit of warning, which is what you want them to do really, you want them to be predictable. So when you get a flash of the lights, it's quite handy, unless they're way too far back and then you just kind of say, no mate, no. <laughs> but typically a flash of the lights in multi-class Racing is not aggressive or rude, it's just kind of saying, right, just so you know, this is where I'm going to be passing you. If someone's doing it in single class racing or in the same class as you, just because they're annoyed they can't get past, then screw them. Drive all the more defensively. <laughs> but obviously, do whatever's best for your race. If letting them pass is actually a good idea. 
But then, if it was a good idea, you would have already let them pass before they started flashing at you. But no, there's no reason to flash someone in the same class as you when you're racing for position. In multi-class though, all for it. Right, halfway through this inlap. Tires seem okay. I mean, their track temperatures are 92 now. They were 70 at the start of the race. So from 70 degrees Fahrenheit up to 92. So we're really struggling to maintain the pace we had at the start of the race. They're just falling away from us every sector. <laughs> You're right, Doug. <laughs> Right, we're almost two hours in. Not sure there is. Well, I suppose there is, but we're going to pit before then, mate. Because nine minutes isn't enough to finish this lap and do another one. Right, so we've got some uh, GT3s just about three seconds behind us again now. Right, the next one should be getting us down this long straight. Blue flag. Right, try to stick to one side here so that they can fly past us. We might even get a little bit of toe off them when they do. Tires really need changing. One hundred meters. Fifty meters. We'll need to stop again. <sighs> there we go. Halfway through the race. Couple of stints done. I know we are going to need a bigger stint. Or a um, obviously. Splash and dash at the end. We're all right, we're all right. Doing okay, 2x so far. P9, people around us just aren't making mistakes, are they? So, yeah. 
People in front of us are so high caliber though, aren't they? I mean, yeah, the one directly in front of us, 4.6k. Yeah. Really, really tough split this. I've got an engine. <clears throat> right, hopefully Marcin and Loic will be coming in. In fact, I'm not sure Loic will. Let's go. So no, Loic has continued. Right, are we going to have a clear track in front of us? All clear on pit exit. We'll deal with that in a second. Main thing is, this is now a cold, tired car with a big, heavy fuel load. And that's our priority at the moment, is nursing it until those tyres get up to temperature. Okay, so Loic is 18 seconds in front of us, and that's who we are fighting. But... They're on a really light fuel load at the moment, and we're not. And also, their final pit stop... It's going to be longer than our final pit stop. Because we only need one lap of fuel when we stop for our final time. Not the next time. Alright, faster car behind us. Let's see where they're going to get us. This is a Porsche Cup car. I might have to stay behind us through this double right. What position are they? P5. Right, it's going to my right. Nice, nice, nice. That worked out all right. And now we've got nothing behind us for ages. Another peak up car 54 seconds back. Of course, they won't catch us as quickly as the GT3s were. The gap in front is now 18 seconds. But he will be stopping on this lap. So yeah, firmly into the second half of this race now. One hour, 52 to go. It's 
still on just two instant points, I believe. Yep, two X. Okay. The leader is pitting now. Okay, so those people that are that have done an eight lap stint are gonna be pit in now. This should include Loic. Leaning around the corners again, Davo. <laughs> right, we're over a minute ahead of Matthias behind now. say overall the quality of driving in this race it's been remarkable again I don't think you see this kind of quality anywhere else on I racing apart from in this Nürburgring endurance championship although we saw that one um, spin on the first lap from that Aston Martin we've not seen anything from anyone else no carnage no silly maneuvers with the odd sorry pop up but we haven't actually been party to any of that so few retirements. I mean, the people in front of us are all so highly rated. They're just unlikely to make a mistake. If only all of iRacing <laughs> was as sensible and disciplined as this, mind you. <laughs> I think they'd not always be finishing in the back half. I need these people in front of me making mistakes. If you're going to do this race, I mean, the, the top three in our class are BMW, so maybe try the BMW. Like I said at the start of this, um, there was a recent Nürbur uh, Nord what's it called? Ringmeister series. A week of racing around here with the M4 GT4. And so I think a lot of people are used to the M4 around here. Got a good setup for it. And have really kind of mastered it, so... Looks like the M4 is the car to go for. The Aston Martin's doing all right. I'm sticking with the Aston just because I, I've got my own setup for it rather than trying to create one for the BMW. Right, so Luke should be... Should be pitting. So apologies for the pronunciation, Luke, if you're watching this back. I, I see that you're team name is Luke Tone in a very anglicised way, Luke Tone so although your, your, your name's spelt Luik, maybe maybe you go by Luke the car ahead's pitting now right, so I'll put us in front of Luke P8, okay. Maybe we have gained another position somewhere. Someone else has had an incident or pitted, I don't know. We'll see when it kind of sorts itself out. So four and a half seconds back to a Porsche now. For now though, we'll just concentrate on the east apexes and getting good exits. <clears throat> I 
It'd be great if we are P8, wouldn't it? Akira and Shuji both saying sorry. Maybe they just came together somewhere on track and they both feel it's their fault. Akira and Shuji. <laughs> That's a 1x. That's my third 1x of this bloody race. Ah, oh, it's a shame. Never mind. I'm sure we'll be getting a 4.99, even if we get like 20x in this race. But still. I don't like getting a 1x, it just seems like you've cheated. <clears throat> right, one and a half seconds back now. Are they gonna get me up the hill? Oh, I'm not sure they're going to be close enough. This is going to get a bit hairy. I'm going to go left. What's their decision? What's their decision? They're staying behind. They're staying behind. Stick as far left as I can. Whoa. A geodesic car by the looks of things. It worked out all right at the end. Twenty-six seconds back now to Nico Tackler. Oh, so that car, that pickup car, just passed us. Was running P1 in class. Six point one k driver. Very sensible move to just stick behind me around there. Got a lot to lose when you're P1. Right. Oh, Dan's Ferrier has disconnected. I think Dan's was in front of us. Maybe that's a driver change, or maybe that is a retirement. I'm not sure. Maybe that's why we've gained a place. Oh, no, I think it might be a driver change, because there was a car about 50 seconds in front of us. And there still is a car 50 seconds in front of us, but it's now Valentin. So I think Dan's... Did the first half of this race, and now Valentin is doing the second half. So they're 49.3 seconds in front. On the same strategy as us, in the same car. <laughs> now. <laughs> ha. Let's see what their lap times are like, because this might be another target for us. If they're 49 seconds in front, and we've still got an hour and 42, plus the final lap to go. Hmm. It's their potential to catch them. If they make a mistake, maybe. Well, we'll just keep driving, doing what we can. And watch that gap up to Valentin, which is 48 seconds now. Hopefully Valentin's just not as in tune with the track as Dan's was. I mean, they could always swap Dan's back in, I'm guessing. At the next pit stop if they need to, but... <laughs> right, we'll keep up the pressure anyway.
keep pushing. All right, Andy. We're just over halfway through the race. There's 13 of us in GT4. We were ranked number 13 on I rating, so we're last in ranking, but we're running what looks like P8 at the moment. And I've just missed an apex. I'm glad you came to see that. <laughs> the track temps increasing. It's now 94 Fahrenheit. Track temps coming up, so don't worry about the uh, the delta. We are going to be slower than our session best lap there because we did that in around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It's now closer to 90, 94 actually. Just looking at it. You just woke up. <laughs> it's all right, isn't it? You'll be pleased to know my shoulder's sort of... It's doing okay. It hurts in the pit stops. When I'm driving, I kind of forget about it. We've only had three incident points so far as well, Andy. So, safety rating should be good after this. We will need to make a splash and dash at the end because the way the stints are worked out. We're going to be running seven lap stints and we need an eight for one of them, but I'm not going to try that. The guy behind, Luke Ton, has done an eight lap stint and some of the front runners have done an eight lap stint already. But we're going for the splash and dash. Should be quite a short one because we're not going to change tyres or anything. That's a way off yet. Hour and 40 to go, 100 minutes left before the race officially ends, but of course we'll have to then finish whatever lap we're doing. But yeah, anyone who's watching, <laughs> thanks ever so much for watching. If you're watching back or watching live, give the video a like. Helps YouTube to know what's worth sharing to other people. Helps me to understand what you guys like as well. And it makes the pain <laughs> worth it. I did take some painkillers before I started this stint, but they're going to wear off soon. I'm just running on adrenaline, really, for this shoulder blade. Right side. seconds yeah not the fastest but most laps now you've got traffic on and of course this track temperatures are high Right, five seconds back to Georgie in the Porsche. I've raced with Geordie a few times. Not in the same class. Geordie's usually in the Porsche. But experienced, so lapping me shouldn't be an issue. Five seconds back, but Nico Tackler is just one second behind Geordie. And they're, the, they're running P2-3 and then Ford's slightly further back. So they're going to be battling as they come across me. Master car behind. Okay, Jim. Oh, I still need a little lift going into that kink. Right, they're not on my radar yet, so they're definitely going to have to wait up until after Fluke Platz. Thank you. Oh, no problem. 
Yeah, Geordie's two seconds behind now. <clears throat> right, it's going to get a bit hairy coming out of here. So I will stick to the left. Let that one through. Take my line. And then the next one can get me on the exit. Right, they should have the pace now to go past me here. Giving each other as much room as we possibly could there. You see how these Porsches just aren't quite as quick as the GT3s through the twisty bits. Alright, so Dirk's next. <clears throat> Five seconds behind. Four seconds behind now. Right, hopefully he'll be getting me on the uh, flat out uphill. not in my mirrors yet. And we're pushing hard because car number 15 in front we might be able to catch by the end of the race. Faster car behind. As they've got a slower driver in than they had for the start of the race. Two and a half K, so the same sort of rating as me, but we pulled two and a half seconds on him on the previous lap. Blue flag. Right, where's this Porsche going to get us then? I'm going to stick right to the left, much as I possibly can. Nice, 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 and a big gap behind. Right, I've got Akira in the Toyota in front. We're going to have to pass them. Slower class car ahead. This is awkward. Right. Lost a little bit of time, but not too bad. Three or four temps. Thank you. Oh, a bit offline there. Calm it down a bit because I think my tyres have overheated around that bit. Just settle back down, get back into a rhythm. Nearly ran off there. Yeah, so tyres aren't completely fresh. They're certainly not shot, but. It's at that stage now, midway through a stint where it feels like if you overheat them a bit, they start to go for a few corners. If then be patient and let them kind of recover a bit.
obviously on other sims you'd get an instant readout of what your tyre temperatures were doing, which isn't really realistic, is it? Here on iRacing, it's tough. You don't know what your tyre temperatures were. It's just the way it should be, I think. Unless you're in F1 or something like that, where you can get real-time temperature and pressure data. I don't think you should be able to see graphically what your tyre temperatures are. Unless the real car has that. I know some have pressure sensors, so that kind of indicates it to some extent. Right, so there's a Toyota on the right. Might as well try and nick a little bit of toe off him. Jeff, it's Jeff. Ah, oh, the third time we've passed Jeff, but this time it's not in the same place as before. Luis is next, but I don't think we're going to get in before the, uh, the end of the lap. Now we'll be behind Luis here. Slower class car ahead. There is. I have to lift off. Get a good exit here and just nip past on the straight. Don't go in the pits, mate. Ooh. He's now getting a bit of my toe. <laughs> Ego. Put my arms out and <laughs> block all the wind. Four laps before we pit. So we gained a second on the person in front, but that's not really enough to catch him by the end of the race. A second a lap is nowhere near enough. We'd need, what, 48 laps. <laughs> I've got about 11. There's no way we're five seconds a lap quicker than him. So... If we're going to overtake, it relies on them making a mistake. We're very firmly in P8 now, though, which is really satisfying when we're car number... Well, we would be car number 13 in class if the cars were numbered like that. But, of course, they give us the numbers that we want, and I always race under number 10 if I can. So I'm. there's number 10 written on the side of my car, but we are car 13 in class. I mean, it's such high eye rating at the top of this grid um, that we might even be in a chance of keeping our eye rating and rather than losing it, even though we're finishing potentially P8. We might not lose eye rating, I don't know. We'll see. Like when car number one has got two drivers who are both over 7k, they're not going to be nicking a lot of eye rating off us. Because this is a team event, caps, which is the stuff that you see on screen, the graphics, caps can't calculate what I rating people will be losing and gaining. Because that depends on how much each driver does in the race. So it can't predict it during the race. Not that it's about I rating, of course. So I'm not too worried either way. I just want a good race. And at the moment, with, a f with just three X, this is really what we wanted from this race. Right, so the next car is a pickup car, eight and a half seconds back. Right, track temperature's up to 95 Fahrenheit now, so 25 Fahrenheit higher than it was at the start of the race. It's definitely sapping our lap time.
Oh, what's going on here? All right, slow car ahead. So this is Jao. He's running P10 in his class. Is he damaged? He's weaving about a lot. Oh, this doesn't bode well. Slower car. Oh, there he goes. You stay there. You could just see, you know, even from quite far back, that he was weaving around. He wasn't in control of the car. Must have been damaged. Trying to nurse it back to the pits, I'm guessing, but not a smart move because you could have easily taken someone else out. Right, so Jean-Jacques is two and a half behind. Are they going to get me before the kink? Yeah, I reckon so. So we'll stay left when they get close to us. Blue flag. Okay, Damo. It's a faster class car approaching. Nice, nice, nice. Right, 3.8 seconds back to the next one, so we're going to be able to take the kink on our own as we like. And they're going to get us probably coming into the carousel. Nope, we're going to go through the carousel before they are. Right, quite an awkward place to catch me now. waiting. It's good to see. Must be frustrated, but sorry. <laughs> Just caught me in the wrong part of the track. I must be so frustrating. Yeah, there's nowhere to go, mate. There's nowhere to go. Right side, moving right side. Yeah, sorry, Vincent. That's the first opportunity I had to let you go. Now that these track temperatures have crept up to 95. Cheers, Bedrin. Um, I'm kind of back to how I was in, in kind of previous races, where this is the sort of situation on track that I'm used to. And... Um, the gearing, you know, like I said at the start of this race, some of the, the corners have got so much more grip because the, the track temperature was so low that I was actually in a higher gear than than I usually am. But now that we're back up to 95 Fahrenheit, we're, we're back to the sort of normal. Normal? Yeah, the usual um, gears through the corners that, you, that I'm kind of used to. Nice to see you here, Benjamin. Cheers. Good job. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a tricky old strength of field, this one, mate. You know, when we were on the grid, everyone above us was like 4k and above. And we're doing it for the little guys. <laughs> Alright, so three laps to go before we pit. Is 3.0 off the pace. Sector 2 is 2.9 seconds off the pace. Sector 3 is 3.1 seconds off the pace. A little bit hot into there. 
Yeah, do an endurance race. Yeah, yeah. No, just, you know, get yourself into a, a two-hour one. There's the Michelin Pilots, which are really good. You can do them on your own. But you know what? The, these four-hour ones are really good fun. <laughs> you can do them as a team as well, so if you find a teammate, get a pair of you. It's really good for the SR, yeah. I mean, I've only got three incident points. I've been driving for two and a half hours, plus qualifying, which is another half an hour. So I've been driving for about three hours around here. Total of 3x. <laughs> How many corners is that, eh? So we'll be maxed out at A4.99 again. And the funny thing was, <laughs> if, you, if you don't watch my videos, the last time I did the um, Nürburgring Endurance Championship, which was a, a six hour race, I obviously went up to A4.99. But then in the next race, I had like 10x, which was like a 15 minute race, and I got 10x in it. And I still stayed at A4.99 just because <laughs> I've done so well on the Nordsch life and got so many, well, did so well in, in terms of SR, it just carried over. Um, and even then, you know, that six hour race, I had 20 odd incident points, I think. Right, Loic is on my radar and it's a minute behind, so that's good news. Remember, we need to do a splash and dash, and Loic doesn't. Right. Now, you guys won't have seen it on stream just then, but something quite interesting just happened. Because my hand is really starting to give way, my shoulder and my arm, because of my trapped nerve. And the steering wheel just skipped very slightly in my hand there, which is just the first indication of me not having as much grip as I really want. I mean, that's like a claw at the moment. So as much as the adrenaline is keeping the pain away, at the end of the day, the mechanics of actually holding a steering wheel, that process, is starting to fail a little bit. That's going to be interesting. Right, once on that stop, so yeah, we're stopping in three laps time. We'll have to consider dropping the um, the force feedback, which I don't want to do. Really don't want to drop the force feedback because then the car will feel different and all that muscle memory goes out the window. And the main thing around here is being able to rely on your muscle memory. Because if you start overthinking things or having to try and figure out different from the feedback you're getting, the different information coming in, and you having to kind of calculate that. I do not need that. I need my muscle memory where it is. We'll see. So normally, um, I'm on a Simucube 2 Pro, if you guys don't know. It's usually in the description of my videos. Um, which runs up to 25 newton meters, which is just silly. So for most races, if I'm doing a 15 minute race, I will run it at around 14 newton meters. If I'm doing an endurance race, like an hour or two hours, I'll drop that down to 12 and a half. But for this race, these Nürburgring endurance championships, not only are they four or six hours, but they're also at the Nürburgring. And so I'll drop it down to 10. So I am already running a lower force feedback than I would do for a 15 minute race. But still 10 newton meters. So we think the CSL DD, the Fanatec CSL DD, with the boost pack only goes up to eight. I think the newfangled Acertec one that everyone's looking at at the moment, the, uh, the lowest, what is it? It's not the Forte or the Evicta, was it Prima? Acertec Prima, something like that. I think that's 11. So I'm kind of running this maxed out still on a on the Acer Tech. I think Moser Moser do a nine newton meter. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. I should concentrate on Calvin three and a half seconds in front of me in a tire. Oh, I don't need sixth gear there. I've got a little spot on my windscreen, which is just 
<laughs> annoying place. It keeps ending up being on the apex of corners. Oh, I sit behind Calvin here. I get him on the exit. I think he's giving us room. Nice driving, Calvin. Nice, nice, nice. Lovely stuff. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly it, Thomas. The full new, uh, full 25 newton meters is a bit of a gimmick, really. I kind of, you know, if people come round and want to try it out, I'll let them have a go. But I'm not sure, you know, I've driven some fairly race-ready cars on track in my time and a couple of race cars. And I've never had as much, had to put as much effort into driving them as I do a 25 newton meter simu cube. Yeah, 12 and a half in the LMP3, yeah. A lightweight car. Engine behind you, so the front end's not quite as heavy, so the steering on these front engine cars are a bit heavier, aren't they? 6 to 8 newton meters on Nord sounds sensible, yeah. It's not so much the, the sus sustained force, it's these little bumps that keep kicking at you and vibrating and the notchiness of it. And you can dial that out in your settings, of course, but it's easy just to turn the whole thing down, really. Right, are we going to get this next one, Jan Michel? Get this one on the straight, hopefully. Bit of a toe. Right, you stay on your line, mate. Don't you start weaving. Okay, so auto fuel is ticked. Well, obviously, I'm just going to get a full tank. Windscreen tear off is ticked because that bloody spot on my windscreen. All tyres will be ticked to replace. Yeah, you don't want the most amount of force feedback. That's just that's just trying to be macho for no reason. Oh, wiper! Oh, it, this car hasn't got a wiper. Up time was eight thirty-nine point nine. Temp rising. It's now seventy. Oh, I've overshot there. Thinking a bit more wipers. <laughs> yeah, the wipers don't work in this one. Nice sunny day here in Germany. What's the temperatures going up still? 96 now. Thank you. Whew, looks like the GT3 pack's been and gone, doesn't it? They haven't had any of those. Yeah, exactly, Thomas. Yeah. I wouldn't want to have a, a lesser DD, even though I don't use... The full 25 newton meters for exactly that reason. Slew rate, etc. I'd always recommend the SimuCube 2 Pro. That's why I chose it, you know. I've kind of made my own choice with my own money. And when I'm um, at work now, we've got a new... So I work for Haggerty. 
um, who do events, insurance, valuations, that kind of thing for cars. And we've got a clubhouse at Vista Heritage and they wanted a, a, a really good specification simulator. So of course I spec'd it up with a Simicube 2 Pro um, and Acetec and Victor pedals like I've got. <laughs> so it'd be interesting to see <laughs> what sort of lap times my colleagues can get. And it'd be a bit rude of me to just turn up and set a hot lap, wouldn't it? But yeah, that's got triple curved monitors and stuff like that, which is really cool. So Valentin's still 48 seconds ahead. Yeah, definitely not going to be catching P7 without them making a mistake then. P8. Come on. Hour and 10 minutes to go. Good chance of a P8. Yeah, you're probably just getting used to it, mate. Yeah, eight newton meters, I think, when you get used to it, it will start to feel like you want a little bit more, but I don't think that means it's broken. It probably just means, yeah, you, you're just getting used to it. You're getting stronger, you're getting fitter. I bet it would feel broken if you took it, <laughs> took the boost right. pack off and went down to five newton meters. <clears throat> That's one thing I noticed with the one at work, because we've got a child mode, which is only three newton meters. Oh, it just feels like it's not attached to anything, even though three newton meters is actually, you know, fairly substantial still. A lot of people are still driving with steering wheels, which have got about three newton meters. And yeah, to me, it just feels like it's completely detached from anything. I think you just get used to them. Oh, come on, Damien. Right, okay. Tires are going. Tires are going, guys. I'm going to have to just focus. I'll let you kind of chat amongst yourselves for half a lap while I get back in the groove here. Graham in the Porsche Cup car is 23 seconds behind. Maybe he'll get me down to Dottinger. Increasing. It's now 98 Fahrenheit. 98 Fahrenheit. It's creeping up to the 100.
Come on, Demo. Back end a little bit light there. Again, these little signs from the car saying, you're going to need to change my tyres soon, Daddy. We will, we will. Ricardo Ruiz in front is in a Toyota, but we're not going to get him until the next lap. Oh. Thank you. And that'll be my in lap. So this is coming up to the end of lap 20, we'll be pitting the end of lap 21, we we'll to maintain these 7 lap stints. Right, hopefully no one's coming out of the pits. Graham behind. 12 seconds back in the Porsche. Again, I'm a bit deep into turn one. I don't think I've got as much grip there as I think I have. Every lap I'm overshooting turn one. Took two and a half seconds out of Valentin that lap by pushing hard at the end, but yeah, they're still 45 seconds ahead. We need them to have a big off. No need to kill us up here, Jeffrey. No need at all. Oh, I wonder what's happening there. Didn't quite get that message, but looked like he was having a moan. Top man. Oh, maybe not. Nice start to this lap. Right, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a red flag on the right hand side there, and that's why I always stick to the left hand side. So sometimes if you're racing on this track and you're too far over to the right, where that red flag is you'll get suspension damage even though you won't even know what's happened you'll come into the pits and you'll need some optional repairs so as you go past that red flag <laughs> stay as far left as you can it's a little tip there for you all right where's this guy gonna let us past this worked out all right that's worked out all right lovely job 
Lovely job. So that was Oya, who's a 5.2k driver. No, that was Samuel in B3. So next one's Oya. I am sort of tempted to try this race in a GR. The only thing that puts me off the GR normally is okay, Damon, a faster car approaching. the traction control when it kicks in. It's so dangerous because it sort of stops you being able to control the car. But if you've got an open setup, and I presume this is We're open setup, the then um, you can just not have traction control. So yeah, maybe one day I'll try this in a Toyota GR, see how we do. I need some of you guys on track with me though. <laughs> need some familiar faces, Andy. Andy, I need you doing this in a GR with me. Not with me, against me. All right, we'll stick rigidly to the left as always here. Trying not to get killed by faster cars, eh? <laughs> not sure what the strength of field is in this top split for the uh, GRs. What's your um, I rate at the moment, Andy? About 1.5, 1.6, is it? It'd be good if we're both in the same split. But here's a commitment, isn't it? Especially if you don't want to wake up early. <laughs> Car was really like coming out the carousel there. <clears throat> oh, what, what are you on? <laughs> are you a liability, Ben? Come on, get in, you little monkey. One point four, okie dokie. <laughs> Heavy drinking. <laughs> At least your arms wouldn't hurt. <laughs> That's what I need. Oh, see my hand couldn't grip the steering wheel again there. The steering wheel was just, I was relying on my left hand to hold the steering wheel in place there. My right hand is giving up the ghost. Like when you feel a tire start to wear. I feel my right hand grip is starting to wear. Yeah, we'll catch each other at an event, you know. Motorsport event. I'm not sure what sort of sim racing events there are. I'm not going to be trekking all the way to Germany for a sim racing event, but... Whoa. Are you from up north somewhere, White Dragon? Andy. The car ahead's pitting. So are we.
Not even Oh, not too far from me. I'm on Kings Lynn. So it's awkward though because it's going across, isn't it? So, yeah. I was near Newark the other day. We had an event for work. The Festival of the Unexceptional was in Grimsfort. Just near Grantham. Right. 100 metres. All right, Damo. We'll fuel you to the end of the race. 50 metres. That is an awkward pit entry. Whoa. Out, out, out. Not far at all, no. If there's an event at Donington or something, that's not too far from me. Ooh. Oh, we'll just meet halfway one day. I've got a couple of classic cars and one of them is currently in a garage. Um, up that sort of way near Newark. About an hour to get to that one. So yeah. Not too far away, not too far. Right. So this is going to be another seven lap stint. Although there's going to be eight laps left in the race. We're going to be coming out behind Luke. But we'll both have to stop again. Horton Park. Holton Park's quite awkward to me. Yeah, it's quite far away compared to Donny. Obviously, my local is Snetterton, and I work really near Silverstone as well. My wife's from Northampton, so I tend to find my way there a lot. Oh, Luke's actually pitted now. Exit's clear. Push. Well, that's very interesting. It's a faster car approaching. Blue flag. Let this Porsche go. So Luke... Thank you. ...has now... ...got back onto the normal pit strategy, so has negated his ability to do... ...one fewer stop. Is that a miscalculation, or is... I don't know what that's all about. I don't know what that's all about. Marcin hasn't stopped though yet. But stopped at lap 14, so he definitely needs to stop pretty soon. At the end of this lap, I'm guessing. Trying to do his eight lap stint. Champion wise, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, Snitterton's alright, yeah. It's just bloody windy there all the time. <laughs> right, so Marcin is four and a half seconds behind, but hasn't made the stop that we've just made yet. So they should be in on in lap. Which means that they are going to be low on fuel. And may well be hassling us at the end of this lap, but they will have to pit. So part of me thinks we just let them pass. We'll see. If we can stay in front, I guess that's better. <laughs> but I'm not too worried. I'm not going to bust the ball to stay in front. Because I think we're a pit stop ahead. Or if they actually pit next lap, they've done that eight lap stint. And so, um, they won't need to make another stop after the one they're doing now. But our stop will be a lot shorter. So I think we've got Marcin covered. At the moment, my priority is nursing this car. With its heavy fuel and cool tyres on a hot track. 99 Fahrenheit now. Thank you. Yeah, Donnie and Silverstone, yeah. They're all windy, aren't they? Right, they're a couple of minutes into this lap now, and the gap back is still four seconds to Marcin. So I don't think they're going to get us on this lap anyway. Which is nice. Oh, 
Oh yeah, have you driven a cake run before? You'll see some videos in a playlist on my channel that aren't of me racing on sim. They're just videos that I'm in. And one of them is uh, me with uh, another guy and we're testing out the Caterham 420R and a 620S. And it was during the uh, the Beast from the East. <laughs> we're in the Brecon Beacons and there's snow at the side of the road. And we're driving the two most powerful Caterhams that you can. And you'd think it'd be hilarious in a hoop. But actually, it was completely rubbish. The cars just could not cope with it. And the, the camera crew had a, just a normal Volkswagen Golf. And we just couldn't keep up with the Golf. Even though we're in these really good caterums, the fastest you can possibly get. They just had no grip. And me and the other guy, Johnny, we're fairly accomplished drivers, really. But this Golf, just a normal everyday Golf, was just pulling away from us as we were just like getting from one location to another. On the bucket list. Yeah, oh, it's definitely something you got to tick off then. <laughs> it wasn't even like a special golf. It wasn't like a GTI. It was just a golf. A golf like you'd get at a supermarket shelf. You know, just I'll oh, have one of them, please. Oh, you got to slow down, mate. We just haven't got any grip. We're probably doing like 25 mile an hour on some of these roads. We, just can't, we can't keep up. Yeah. Oh, it's gone a bit cloudy here at the Nürburgring. Temperatures dropped a couple of degrees, it's now 97. Oh, Jeff's having a moan. Sorry about the language there. So you've got no control over that on a live stream. Well, I suppose I could mute the chat, but you want to hear the chat, don't you? Right, Samuel next, four and a half seconds up the, up the road. Oh, again. Big, heavy car, come on. So Marcin behind is on a in lap from what I can gather so just two seconds behind me now on a nice light car I wish I knew what Kazmi was saying Awkward place to catch someone here. Ah, oh, he wasn't keen to let me through. Now he is. And Marcin is right up behind me, but like I say, they should have to pit this lap, so I'm not too worried if they overtake Daniel Dottinger. Staying behind. Is this a deliberate thing? I think it's going past. I'll lift off, make sure he's got plenty of room.
Don't want to collect him under breaking. <laughs> we haven't been made to look like a fool there. We were right that he had to stop then. Now, we do still have to stop for a splash and dash. But Marcin has got to put a full tank of fuel on board. And we won't have to. There you go. Look, Mama didn't overshoot the corner. Carting day, yeah. That'd be quite good fun, wouldn't it? My carting days. Oh, my God. I used to weigh three stone less in my carting days. <laughs> I look so scrawny. Oh. Oh. Temperature's decreasing. It's now 94 Fahrenheit. In fact, actually, White Dragon, um, one of my race wins in Carton was Ancaster, which I don't fix too far from you then, maybe. And in fact, I think the trophy that I keep at hand is an Ancaster Karting trophy. <laughs> so I'll pick this up if I happen to win a sim race, but this is actually a, an Ancaster one. But I'm sure that's out your way. Yeah, my local really is Red Lodge in Newmarket. Oh, I suppose there's North Pickenham as well, but North Pickenham's not a great track, really. They won't like me saying that, but it's not like... Yeah. Yeah, North Pickenham is closer, but... It's a bit rough and ready. Well, anyway, if you're just joining us, sorry I've been chatting to Andy about go -karting. Um, We're uh, in the GT4 class here in the Nürburgring Endurance Championship. There are five classes, GT3 is the top class, then Porsche Cup, then us in the GT4s, then there's TCR cars, which are basically touring cars, and then the Toyota G GRs at the bottom. Um, <clears throat> we're in a, a grid of 13 GT4s, some really, really quick drivers in here, strength of field is really high, I don't know exactly how high, but, you know, we've got lots of 7, 8k, well, not lots of 7, 8k, but we have got 7, 8k drivers. The leader at the moment is an 8.4k driver. And, uh, yeah, so <laughs> the standard's really high. There are 13 cars in this class. When we started the race, we were ranked number 13 out of 13 based on my I rating. So anything other than last was going to be a bonus. And we're currently running P8. So I'm quite happy about that. And, crucially, we've not had to pit for repairs. Every single pit stop so far, there's been no optionals. We've only got three incident points. And although this is a four hour race, there's less than three quarters of an hour to go. So we're sort of in the closing stages, although anyone who does a 45 minute race or a 40 minute VRS race, for example, will know a lot can happen in 40 minutes. We've got one more stop to make. I'm not gonna try and make my fuel load eke out because I think this is gonna be a 29 lap race. And on seven lap stints, of course, four lots of seven is 28 rather than 29. So we had a choice of either trying to make one of our seven lap stints into an eight by just fuel saving, or whether to try and do a splash and dash. And that's what we're doing. So at the end of this seven lap stint, we'll still have one lap to go, but we'll pop into the pits. We won't bother changing tires, but we will just get a lap of fuel.
Slower class car ahead. So we're going to need about 1.8 gallons of fuel at the next stop. Although my caps, my caps believes that we are not going to do the extra lap. It thinks the leader will not start its 31st lap. It thinks the leader is going to stop at 29.94. So the checkered flag will be out for the leader. So if the leader only does 30 laps and we get lapped twice... Then we only need to do 28. So, okay. Bit of confusion here now then. I'll have to play it by ear at the end of the race because I don't think that's right. I think that the leader will end up doing 31 laps. They are a highly rated driver. Top split. The track temperatures have been low at the start of this race. So I can't see why they'd do less than normal. So I think Caps is just getting a bit confused. I still will then plan on doing a splash and dash. So I'm not going to trust the auto fuel either because the auto fuel might also believe we're not going to do the extra lap. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I'll set the auto fuel to give me enough for one lap just in case we do come in. Well, no, not auto fuel. manual fuel. I'm going to do that now. So, begin fueling. So how many fuel, what fuel are we using? We're using three and a half gallons a lap. Blue flag. Someone jokingly talking about there being rain in sectors four and five. <laughs> uh, Go past me, GT3. Whew. A bit close, didn't he? Just done at 8.42.1 seconds. Right. Couple more GT threes, a couple of seconds behind. So they'll get me before we get onto the uh, Grand Prix loop. Oh, I ran a bit wide there. Hopefully get me on the run down to the chicane. Oh no, they've made contact behind. They've made contact. Oh dear. Luke and Ruben. Well, drama in GT freeze.
Oh, that's lovely to know, Andy. <laughs> Thank you for that. Right, Luke's going to have to wait until after this chicane. Sorry, Luke. Right, so Ruben's now three seconds back. So Luke's running and hiding. I'm not sure what happened in that contact. <laughs> yeah, cheers, Andy. You know I'm trying to race around the Nürburgring right now, right? <laughs> Blue flag. Oh, this BMW is going to be livid with the Porsche. But sorry, mate, you've got to wait for me. You've got to wait for me. Go on, then. Yes, yeah, so that was P4 and P5. And so Luke is now up to P4 by the looks of things. The double chin. <laughs> Here you go. For all you double chin fans. It's my double diffuser. <laughs> and that's why I'm not as fast as I used to be in a go-kart. I didn't use to have a double chin. <laughs> You little monkey. Make sure tyres aren't ticked. No. Nope. So we will not be replacing tyres. Which is... Although they'll be worn, they won't be cold. So, um... So that's good. Is that the first one you saw, was it? <laughs> when I wasn't talking on my qualifying lap. At Alton Park, I think it was, wasn't it? My line was there. I was looking at my fuel. Whew. Still running P eight, guys. This is good. Okay, so I've got a couple of Porsches behind us. Yeah, looking alright, innit? Hopefully these Porsches won't trip us up. I would really like to finish this race on just that 3x. Three incident points would be fantastic, won't it? Bloody arm, though. All right, 2.4 behind. Where's he going to get me? Where's he going to get me? Blue flag. We have to wait until after the carousel, I think. Yeah, he's behind me through this bit. Sensible decision there. 
He's really stuck now. And he knows it. Okay, the next one's seven seconds back. Might be able to get me on the dotting jet, I don't know. Oh, Steen. Steen Ledger, not sure. <laughs> what category Steen's in, but just put a WTF at the top of the screen. Something's happened then between two people. Whoa. Whew, okay. So Eloy in the Porsche is 4.3 behind. I don't think it's going to get me down this straight. Whoa. So we're asking it to add four gallons at the next stop. Won't worry about windscreen tear off. And we won't worry about tires. We haven't actually used our fast repair. I wonder if it's worth just ticking it. Don't know. I've ticked it. I've ticked my fast repair. So that any damage that's left over, they will correct. I'll lift off for this guy. Cool, he made that difficult, didn't he? 2.6k drive, you think you'd know better. You just got to parked it right next to me. And I couldn't turn in until he decided to turn in. Hopefully that hasn't cost us too much. Well, it's cost us a couple of seconds. Not sure where I am really in relation to people at the moment. Knowing that I've still got a pit stop to make and they haven't. I think we're still more than 50 seconds ahead because my radar is showing back to Matthias. Oh, hang on, Matthias is P11. Yeah, okay, so Matthias is on a different lap. So Matthias is a lap behind us now in P11. But anyway, on the road, the distance between us is 50 seconds. So P9 in our class cannot be less than 50 seconds behind us. And I don't think our pit stop's going to take us that long. A splash and dash. We could come in at any point, really, and do that splash and dash, but just to top the fuel up. Yeah, see, Caps is still predicting that we don't need to stop again. And I think that's unlikely, so I'm actually going to leave it right to the end to do, my, to do that final stop in case we don't actually have to have to do it. I don't know. I don't know. Is this only going to be a 28 lap race?
25 minutes to go. Okay. <clears throat> so this is a pickup car coming up behind. Let him through. Rather, he was in front of me. Daniel Robert. No problem, Daniel. Whew. Thanks for everyone watching along. So we've still got 25 minutes of this race to go and we're doing all right. We are doing really well, considering the strength of the field here. We're running P8, I think. Got some pit stops to come. One pit stop for us, which is going to be really short and should, in theory, keep us ahead of P9. So that means we'd finish P8 in the top split. Someone's dropped due to packet loss. <laughs> It'd be great if they're in our split, <laughs> our category, our class, but I don't think they are. Someone else. Oh, people are dropping due to packet loss. I hope that's not going to affect me. Oh, no. When one goes, you kind of go, ah, bad internet. When two goes, you go, oh, is there a problem with the servers? I hope there isn't. Whew. Okay, so Jal in the Toyota is the next car on our list of people to lap. Oh, we're going to get in before the kink. Hmm. Oh, so Dirk's back again. He's reconnected. Coming up on a slower class car. A bit awkward. Right, they're both reconnected. Right, we've got a couple of GT3s behind us as well that might get us before the end of this lap. Sorry, Tom. Sorry, sorry. We are well down on lap time having to negotiate traffic. Blimey. I'll try and push around the back end of this lap. Make up a bit of that time. Well, not make it up, but not lose any more. I can't get in. What happened there? That was a bit weird. Car behaved completely differently to other laps there. I wish you wouldn't, mate. Work with me here, car. Cars making funny noises now as well. That was a weird thud. <clears throat> oh, 
All right, looks like it's been a decent second half of the lap then to make sure we didn't lose too much time after all that traffic. Um, yeah, looking all right, looking all right. Lucas, eight seconds in front. We can just see him there as a dot on the horizon. In a GR, so we'll get him at the start of the next lap. And it's going to be another busy lap of GT3's next one. Alex, Shuji and Fabio will all be coming past us on our next lap. 20 minutes to go. There should just be three laps, but I think we're going to have to make a fourth, a fourth lap. Don't know, I don't know. That's 20 minutes to go. Oh, is this going to be a lunge into turn one? Oh, these Toyotas are really good on the brakes, so I hope to get in before we actually start the braking zone. Yeah. That was handy. Ah, oh, just got a 1x. That's four. Ah, oh, throw me in the bin. I'm rubbish. Four hours, 4x. Not good enough, is it? <laughs> is that this lap's invalid? In terms of lap time, won't be recorded. Yeah, four is all right, really. It's all right. They're definitely going to be A4.99, aren't we? So that's the main thing. Try not to get any more. Again, the frame rate's dropping around Sabine Schmidt's curve. Down to 56 frames there. Normally it runs at 120. Oh god, why is there a yellow? Looks like they're actually cleared off. It's alright, we're alright. We gained a bit of time on Daniel in front. Who's obviously in a different class. In the Porsche Cup, but... He has continued on, so he's still 10 seconds ahead. Good, good, good. Yeah, I needed to do something. Oh! God. Yep, yeah, starting to feel it now, guys. I don't think my hand's going to be good for anything. <laughs> I'll be able to do some sit-down wheeze. <laughs> Just Sorry. Whoop. Back in there, a little bit loose. All oh, right, Donnie's a bit bad, is it? Okay, 1080. Yeah, this is 3070, so later generation, but not not up to the 80. But I think it's just that, yeah, just that part of the Nurburgring when it's trying to render Grand Prix loop and North loop. If you take it seriously enough, <laughs> you want to do a long solo race, you've got to have sim racer nappies. Or the enduro loo. I think me and Duncan Kirby from Steel River Sims were chatting once. 
get an enduro loo where you put a loo in your sim racing seat. Yep. <laughs> Actually, no, I haven't. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't already have an enduro loo. <laughs> if you go back through the footage, you see some strange grunting. And you know why? All right, here come the GT3s then. Okay, so first one. Car approaching. Fifteen minutes left. I'm gonna stick to this left-hand side. Lovely, so that's one done and we've got a little bit of a gap back to the next ones. Toe 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 toe, gimme a 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 toe, toe 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 toe. Yeah, they're definitely battling behind. Just over two seconds behind. Oh, and I've not gone very well through there. I've got to stick stick to the side here. Do not want to get involved in that. Right, then nobody behind us apart from people that I've already lapped. For the rest of this lap, I'll be on my own. Just me and you guys on chat. Doug, while you're here, if you're listening, what's going on with your um, sim game and nerd um, league? Because it just seems like there's a lot fewer people on there than normal. Is it? Has something changed? Because I think in the last race I saw there was only about ten of you, whereas normally it's quite a big grid. Is it a different league that you're doing now, or something? You've perhaps said on your videos, but I don't, you know, I, I'm, I often have them on in the background when I'm working, so I don't pay too much attention. That's not just you, Doug, that's everyone. lifting slightly around these corners which are quite tricky to try and save a bit of tyre life at the end of the race remember we've got to do an 8th lap on these tyres Ferrari League oh right yeah yeah of course yeah, it's a Ferrari one isn't it it's just a temporary one oh right I gotcha Good exit of that second carousel there. Whew. Right, 11 and a half minutes to go. Are we going to have two laps or three laps? We don't know. Okay, so I might have a clean lap on this lap as well. There might be nobody bugging us. We'll see, we'll see. Izushi is 50 seconds behind in a Porsche. I don't think that's enough. It's not close enough to catch me on the next lap, I don't think. GT3. Yeah, I do tend to race a lot of GT4 Ruben, at the moment, no so... Good, man. Come on. Right, still running P8, guys. Still running P8. 
two or three laps to go. We don't know. Depends what the leader does. Again, those two people, Jan and Dirk, have both dropped again. I don't know if they're on the same team or what's going on. And they're hopefully going to both reconnect again. I don't think they're in our class anyway. It doesn't affect us. Temperature's rising. It's now 98 Fahrenheit. Just don't like to see people getting bad connections and losing their chance of... Yeah, Fabio's disconnected now. So Jan's back on. Fabio's disconnected. What's going on? Okay, Damo. Ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. Stay focused. We're still in this. Okay. Dirk's back on. Oh, it's like the hokey cokey up there with them lot. No worries, mate. Oh. Make sure you uh, <laughs> don't fart <laughs> whilst you're in the middle of the session and make everyone else puke. Oh. This hand, honestly, guys. Oh, if what if you could just pop over and just do the right hand stuff, that'd be great. It's really lo I'm losing all feeling in it. Oh, look, and I've run wide. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, my arm just gave in, guys. I couldn't get I couldn't get the the, the car turned in. I couldn't get the car turned in. By the stewards for repairs. Oh, never mind, eh? Right, so that's going to put us down a couple of spots. Unlucky, yeah. Well, I think I was pushing my luck. Pushing my luck with the old um, arm, anyway. Oh. We're running P8 for most of that. As soon as you hit that, actually, I'm going to get out of the car because as soon as you hit that grass, there's nothing you can do, is there? Uh, if we rewind. <laughs> Car's upside down. Right. Uh, let's do that, let's do that, let's do that. Drop that back a bit. And that one there. Just touch the grass on the outside of this corner. Try to get back on the brakes there. Yeah, that's it. At that point, like I'm on the brakes. You're just heading towards the barrier. Oof. <laughs> I didn't realise my car was stainless steel on the bottom. Oh, dear. Good job you had the fast repair. Yeah, I mean, yeah, when we tow, I should be able to get straight back out. But, um... I don't think we're going to be too far back, really. Okay. We're not, I'm not going to make any, up any positions, are we? <clears throat> Live. I'm going to be behind the um, TCRs by looks of things. Whoa. Let's have a look at this chat. An Uber region. <laughs> oh, honestly, my <laughs> those two fingers, they're just completely gone. They're the ones obviously for the gear change. And ah, oh, honestly, ouch. I feel like I need to click them all. I'm not sure if that's bad or good. But yeah, I mean, the pain from my, from, from the shoulder has just gone all the way down my arm. And it's just all numb. So was, a lot of that, I, was, I my right hand was sort of just resting and the left hand was able to do the work. But I don't, I don't think I braked hard enough around there either. I mean, I could have just slowed down. Sorry, but... Thank you. <clears throat> but hey-ho. Five minutes to go. 
not too bad because although you think, oh no, eight minutes, ah oh, no. I mean, it would have taken me another five minutes to get around that lap anyway. Um, and if we've got that fast repair, I mean, I've lost a few minutes, of course, but I can't even get my mouse. Um, where is it? What are we looking at here? I'm not sure how far ahead of the next person I was. That's not very helpful, is it? Uh, entries. Is this helpful? Does this tell us? No. Alright, Damo. Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. Ah, and we're towing for five minutes. Are we going to be allowed to leave the pits? We will see. Okay. We'll see. Because if we can go out and do that final lap... Because we have passed... Technically, we have passed the start-finish line, and it'd be really weird if it's some sort of fluke of timing that the, the leader just crosses it. Yeah, I think we're still going to be able to do this last lap. Um, how much fuel have I got on board? I think I've still got two laps of fuel on board. Um, so I don't need... I don't need them to refuel my car. So I will stop it refueling. So I've got my fast repair. Uh, I don't want any new tyres. Don't want any fuel. I don't want any work done on my car. Apart from the fast repair. I think we'll, we'll, we'll then be able to go out and do this final lap. We'll see where we come out. I think I am going to lose a couple of positions. I mean, there's 13 in here. 13 in here. So if we're not 13th, <laughs> then, then it's worth continuing. Three and a half minutes. Just waiting for people to kind of come onto my relative. I switched the black box. I know you guys can't see this. Sorry about this. I'm just going to see... It's giving me a bit of a rest. Yeah, I mean, I would have rather it didn't. <laughs> but yeah, at least there's that. Uh, nope, hang on, what am I doing here? Yeah, they're not even... They're not even drawn on my relative. Um, Thank you. Let's drop this down here. Steam Ledger's leading. Javier Soto, Philip, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, it just it doesn't tell me times that just sit up Loke, Loic and Marcin are on the same lap as me, but of course I think they're gonna come past, aren't they? We'll see, we'll see. Two and a half minutes to go. If my hand can stand it. I've just got to be really careful on this lap. Yeah, so there's two minutes and five seconds left of the race. I've got two minutes, 12. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. Right, so P11 is now going to overtake me. But they were a lap down, so I think I'm still going to be ahead of them. I think, although it shows that I'm passing them on track, when my toe runs out, I'll then register that lap. But the, I think the problem is... My toe will run out and the race will technically... No, it won't be over because the, the leader won't have crossed the start-finish line. Unless he crosses the start-finish line within a couple of seconds. So here comes Luke and Marcin. So these guys will be passing me. So that will put me down into P10. That's annoying. But my own fault, I, I just couldn't get around the corner. Right, just over a minute to go. There's a minute left in the race. What's going to happen? Is it going to let me out? Have I got an engine? No. So, when the fast repair is done, I'm actually going to have to start my engine and then go. 
<laughs> Why do these races always have to end like this? So I've got 6x now as well. Ugh. You'll be allowed out of the pits until the leader takes the checkered. Yeah, exactly. It'd be really weird if the leader happens to take the checkered in that few seconds. Oh, it's going to be a battle with Masaimo Kaneko. He's 41 seconds behind us. They're going to overtake us as well, guys. Oh, no, because they must be a lap down as well. They're showing white on there, but it hasn't clicked that I've done the extra lap. So I think they're still, still, still behind us. Anyway, <laughs> what will be will be. We'll just go. We'll just go as soon as we can. Come on, 10 seconds. Repair this car, guys, instantly. I need instant repair. One more to go. Right, so we're on white flag. So we're going to do the white flag lap. And now Masaimo is showing as being one lap down on us. So that's good. So we are going to stay in front of Masimo. Woo! Let's bring it home. So this should be bringing it home in P10. A couple of positions. Oh, God. Less than we thought we were going to be, but... It's all right, it's all right. Yeah, it could have been worse, couldn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, catch you later, Andy. I think this really is just a case of just bringing it home now. Just do this lap. There's nobody anywhere near in front or behind us. So we're not fighting for anything. We've just got to keep it on track. <laughs> and we'll still get that A4.99, I'm sure. I don't know why I changed up there. Oh, get in. So, yeah, the right-handers are what I'm really struggling with now. There we go. Right, nearly there guys, last lap, this will be a P10, sorry it wasn't a P8 that we hoped for, so yeah we'll probably be losing I rating but the safety rating should be maxed out shouldn't it. Right who have we got around us, so we have got a peak up car 12 seconds behind, and then behind that are just... Oh, just a couple of um, Toyotas. So nice and gentle through here this time. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. That's like someone else has been off as well. Oh. Right-handers, guys. <laughs> I'm going to have to turn this force feedback down. Where's my buttons to do that? There we go. Right, that's a bit lighter now. Not got as much feedback or feel. Oh, even then, the right-handers are still tricky. I know the left-handers feel weird. 
Right, so I'll turn the feedback down. So I'm currently running more like seven or eight newton meters. Three seconds back, okay, I'll let them pass at the next opportunity. Oh. Gonna be going up the hill, isn't it? That's where it's gonna get us. Right, stick to this left hand side. There's no one behind him now. Yeah, people are finishing the race, see all the disconnections at the top. Those guys have finished their stints. We're still going. Drag it home. Oh, come on, I can't get in. Right, about a third of the lap to go now. That's all. That's all we've got to do. The right hand is again. Look. So when my hand gets to kind of the the twelve o'clock position, I haven't got any force to push it further. Oh well, we've gifted a position to a couple of guys there. <laughs> but I suppose P8 to P10 is not not that different, really, is it? Hey, come on! Oh. Right, not many corners to go now, guys. Thank you all so, so much for sticking with me. Whether you've dipped in and out, or you've been here the whole time, whether you've left a message on chat or not, doesn't matter. I really appreciate every person that's tuned in and had a look what's going on. Five minutes remaining, five minutes left. Reminder, this is top split in the GT4, and there were 13 of us. We were ranked 13th out of those teams. And we're not going to finish 13th. We're coming round, despite having a big off right at the end. Whew. We're coming round to finish P10. So in front of us there, we can see Masayimo Koneko, who's going to finish P12. A lap down on us. Track temperatures back up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Early on the brakes here. I say I'm struggling with the right handers, so we don't want to push our luck. There we go. Where's that finish line? <laughs> that checkered flag. Where's that wavy man? Wave, wave, wave. He isn't even bothering waving it. 
He's not even there, he's gone home. <laughs> Cheers, Steve. Cheers, Steve. Never mind. Uh, I think I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's, let's be honest. <laughs> I'm actually really happy. Top split. 13th ranked car. P10. Yeah, I thought this was, you know, at the start of the race, I thought maybe this is going to be us driving around in P13. Um, not able to keep up with the other guys. So the fact that we had some battles there, we were quicker than some guys. Really satisfying. Yep. Uh, I didn't know whether to do this race, as you guys know, um, because of the pains I've been having in my shoulder. Um, really glad I did it. Really glad I did it. So we're going to lose I-rate, and we'll have a look at that in just a minute. Um, we'll wait for everybody else to finish. Um, we'll have a look at the results. Um, we won't go through everyone's incidents, but if I have a quick look back at mine, if it will let me, because sometimes it's a bit weird. Uh... Looks like 27. See if this is the one. I think this is the one where I binned it, wasn't it? Car was looking good. I say no repairs up until this point. Yeah, I am. I, Russell, yeah, I, I am satisfied. You know, the results don't mean too much to me. If we get the A4.99 safety rating, that's something that just skipped over there and I. I'm not sure if I didn't turn in enough or I didn't have to find control or what, what it was. But look at that. Let's look look back at just how little I actually touched the grass. And then that's the impact. So as I come round here, um, if I go to chopper. Car sort of hanging on. Yeah. At that point, yeah, you're then swallowed up, aren't you? And then I'm on the brakes, but brakes aren't going to do anything there. As, as we all know, we've all been off at this corner. Oh, digs in there. Boom. <laughs> it's quite dramatic, isn't it? A nice flash of the stainless steel underneath. Oh, lucky my wheel stayed on. <laughs> There's your thumbnail, if I was going to be putting this out as a video. Yeah, once you're on the grass, there's nothing you can do, is there? But yeah, I just couldn't, I couldn't get the car in. <laughs> Cheers, Neil. Hang on, what's this? Wait, where's Sim Racer 65? Where, why, why is Neil Todd turned up? What's going on here? Um, I hope both of them are giving me a, a like on this video. But yeah, I think this is everybody should now have finished the race. So I'll see if the, um, see if the results are in. Put that. We won't bother saving that replay. No, no, no. Let's have a look here. Uh, it'll take a few seconds so you look at my backdrop <laughs> right practice practice race okay let's have a look at this race it looks like we're on a 4.99 already you can see it at the top of the screen so hang on i'll get my face out of the way here so hopefully you can still hear me yeah hopefully you can still hear me here uh so check for feel three to eight four but that was uh, of course that was all classes i think if we switch that to that it doesn't change the strength of field but there we go. So let's open this up and have a look what happened. So we lost 12 I rating. Oh no. I think we'll cope with that. We lost 12 I rating, but we maxed out the safety rating on there. Oh, okay, Neil. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, we did all right. If we'd, uh, you know, who actually finished P8 then? Luke Tone. So Luke. Luke was very similar sort of I rating to us, wasn't he? It was he 2.6. So he, only, he gained 16 for finishing where he did. So if we'd have finished there, we'd have gained 16 rather than losing 12. I mean, eh, not, not really. <laughs> not really too much to worry about there then, really, is it? So, yeah, a little bit of a safety rating loss. Um, have we got any? Yeah, we've got 52 championship points. Just Russell. Um, yeah, not, not bad. Let's, let's pop that back into the intro. Hopefully this will refresh and you can actually see. Hopefully you can hear me now. <laughs> you can see your chat popping up there. And see my nice big face. And my, my nice poorly hand. Look how, look how bad it is. <laughs> oh, sorry, I keep looking up there because that's where I can see you. But you're actually in there, aren't you? Hello. Yeah, I can see you there now. But thanks everyone for coming along. There's no point in me continuing this stream from now on because we're not actually looking at any of the incidents. Uh, the results were there. Um, so if you wanted to have a look at those again, you can obviously find them on iRacing or have a quick skip back on this um, stream. But I'm now going to head off because it's one o'clock here in the UK. I'm going to need some food. <laughs> Thank you once again, everyone that's come along. 
Hopefully I'll be doing the race again uh, Wednesday morning, if my shoulder allows. I'm going to have to be realistic about it. I'm going to let you guys know if I'm not going to be doing doing it Wednesday morning. Um, I like to think that I'll be able to do a 15-minute race. I mean, we were doing all right there for most of that, but we'll, we'll play it by ear. Um, so, yeah, half seven in the UK, half seven in the morning, Wednesday mornings is when I do the GT4 fixed. I think it might be at Willow Springs. No idea how I'm going to do there. Um, but, yeah, hopefully I'll pop that video out on Wednesday afternoon evening time if i've managed to do that race and may see some of you in that race um i know i've raced against a couple of you um, in that half seven slots so that's quite good but thanks everyone for coming along uh give the video a like on your way out if you haven't done that already and of course if you've not already subscribed i really appreciate any subscribers that come along um normally i finish the races <laughs> normally i finish the races but you know no matter where we finish as long as we've had a good race we've had fun and hopefully gained a bit of safety rating i don't care about losing eye rating I'm satisfied that we've had a good race. So I'm really, really pleased about that. We'll, we'll go again another time, maybe try it in the BMW. Um, I quite like the Aston, though. But until next time, have a great week or weekend, whatever he's going to do. I'll catch you next time.